Well, 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 we are back. Yep. <laughs> Missed you guys on Monday. I really, really hate missing shows, man. Really do. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Honey, Stamps.com, and HelloFresh. Thank you. We love, love our sponsors. You know, I woke up on uh, Monday morning. It's It was really a weird illness. Sunday, I was up with the kids. The kids are up all night. I mean, you know, sleep is an issue, obviously, but I was up with Bruce at like 4 a.m. when he finally fell asleep. And I went to bed, obviously, pretty late, but when I woke up around 11, I felt so bad, dude. It was weird. It just came out of nowhere, man. Like, in the, in the middle of a really deep flu-like symptom thing. Yeah, I see you guys were super sad. You guys were in deep mourning over uh well, we were worried about Monday you. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know I know what you guys are up to. None of these beers are cracked. Nice try. Well, we were just getting the party kicking off. Nice try, losers. Yeah, you guys didn't drink shit. No, we were just You just... guys were working all day. Oh, Sam's the one really partying. <laughs> Who's Sam? Uh right. She's just penis bottle now. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, there was a really funny picture of Sam on Friday, who someone was covering her head. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's that? Who, was that your masterpiece, AB? Someone. Uh, you were covering <laughs> her head. Well, I don't. I can't see what's listen, behind listen, me, bro. Listen, I'm not gonna point fingers, but I always respectfully remind Zach that he's the tallest. Yes, somehow he always ends up in the middle. Um, but here, here's the well, that's not a problem. What does it matter? Yeah. What, the, what are you oh, calling Zach? Saying in the middle, you're most visible. Yeah, Sam would be more visible. He, he, Zach is tall enough to be. Oh, he could be behind Ethan. If and Zach behind. and Sa- yeah, but I, I, everyone was like, "Yo, this is such a beautiful yeah. picture, of Sam." Well, it's very funny, um, Zach. What do we think about this? It seems that uh, AB is saying, "Why not change places with Sam?" That that's fine. I have no issue with that. There is, Zach says, no issue. Here is Ethan Klein. Solve the problem. Wait right here, baby. Psych! I'm done. Yeah! Woo! Woo. Yep. Can I see that again? I missed it because it was covered. Here the- is Ethan Klein. Psych! I'm done. Let's see off the resin trip. Just a little, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Just a little, um, little pick me up there. Yep. Good. I like that. Thank you guys. Nothing more than that, right? No. Even with like the full day off. No. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, it wasn't a day off. We were drinking. Right. 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 I was pretty mm-hmm. fucking. We were busy. Wasted. So yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. By the way, side note, um, Philly D, Philly DeFranco is a pretty boy. Um, he asked me to add that to the doc, and so it's... He's a pretty boy? Why are you talking to Philly D? He responded to our tweet today. He said to add that to the docket. Uh, which tweet? We tweeted out what we're going to be talking about today. Today's a tweet. He's, he's showing some love. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. This he's, tweet. Philip DeFranco is a pretty boy. Oh, this one? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. According to who, Philly? I mean, uh, you're skinny legend, but, I mean, pretty boy? I mean, who gave you that moniker? He's a pretty boy. I think he's pretty. I'm not saying he's not pretty, but whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, you can't be editorializing our show. I mean, who is he? It was weird. No, no. Pretty cringy. We're friends. All right. Oh, shit, not that. Yeah, so anyway, okay, good. Excellent. Yeah, so I was feeling really sick, and... um, but today, today I'm feeling much better. I got a good night's sleep last night, and I'm feeling This good. is sick? Yeah, thank you. Uh, so moving on, we got obviously a lot to talk about. As you guys see from the title, uh, Nelk Boy, Steve Will Do It, went way too far. Obviously, the Steve Will Yank It dog jerking uh, meme is getting to him severely. And he's not acting like a dude who did not jerk off his dog. He's acting like a dude who very much did jerk off his dog. And he's mad at us for noting what was obvious. And he went on the attack. I'm the cool dad. When I saw what he said about Hila, I audibly gasped, I tell you. Yeah, I was drinking something. I spit it out. 
I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it's time to mount the sound of the war horns. I, I swear to God. Oh, I love the drummer boy, the horn. It's all coming together. Okay, now, can we get some bullet fire, Zach? Like distant gunfire. Not close, but distant. Maybe distant explosions? No, not, not lasers. Not lasers. Here, one hour distant gunfire sound effect loop. <laughs> That's too loud. But I had a full volume. Hold on, let me... I'm talking like miles away, you know. Da, 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 da. I, I, I promise you, man, I was sitting with Theodore when I watched this clip, and I said, oh no, he didn't. I said that out loud, and Theodore was like, what? What happened, Daddy? What, what did he say? Or some, I was like, oh, don't worry, son. It's just uh, work-related. Wouldn't dare show my son that foul, demonic language that dog jerk offer used against my wife. Oh, that's good. Pain machine gun. Wow, we're on the battlefield, boys. <laughs> it's giving me those nom flashbacks. I'm having to ride the uh, the fader here to keep it nice and you know low bed. Wait, why did it sound like Mario just got a coin? What was that? I I don't know if that was in this video or not. Did you play something, Zach? Men uh, no. <laughs> and women, we come together here to declare war on our adversary. Steve will jerk it. This man has been jerking off his dog relentlessly. For example, when I jerk off Donnie. For years. And has the audacity to attack Ela? That what what now that was Mario getting a coin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I shall commit, we shall fight on the sea. We shall fight on the land. We shall fight in the gym. We shall fight with masks on or off. I believe an individual citizen in this country has a right to own a we nuclear We shall acquire weapon. nuclear weapons. <laughs> Steve will fucking, you know what? You're about to jerk your dog off for the last time, Steve. Steve, you better get jerking. You better enjoy it while you can, you fucking. You know why Steve's so jacked from jerking his dog off all the time? Works up a lot of muscle. Yeah. One's for him, one's for the dog. <laughs> Steve, you degenerate fuck. You disgusting freak. Oh my, I can't control my goo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucked up now! Chris House says, I'm an anime tattoo artist. Ethan and the crew always have debates about terrible tattoos. I think talking to a tattoo artist could add some perspective. Side note, a client of mine and I bonded over our mutual love of the show. Thank you, uh, Chris House. I'm sure as an anime tattoo artist, you've seen your fair share of cringe <laughs> tattoos, eh? Yeah. Oh, I just started to get throat pain. I'm just warning you guys. I didn't feel it, but now I feel it. Jay's music. Keep it going. Keep the war stuff going. I like it as a mute. I'm <laughs> in pain. Ouchie. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's an A10 warthog uh, doing a strafing run. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> oh, it's like a... Oh, shit. <laughs> Wow, probably unnecessary. Well, I'm just, I'm trying to pepper in, you know, a variety of sounds for uh, Jay's musings, thank you for the gift. Of <laughs> so Glad Tommy you're on <laughs> <laughs> True, huh? <laughs> Glad you're on the men, good sir. Hope the family stays well. I'm super pissed at Steve. The Fupas have your back 100,000%. Thank you, Jay. You guys are gonna gasp when you see what this man said. And I am not overplaying it. I'm gonna send it. Am I overplaying it? I lost my mind. No. Right? No, yeah. not at all. He almost made it through the interview. He went on Bradley Martin's podcast. Almost made it through. And then at the very end, he had to say the, the lamest shit. The dirt, the stupidest shit. That completely undermined everything he had said previous, might I add. Right. A hundred percent. Man, oh, the barricade. Steve, Steve, Steve. It's going to be fun to watch that clip. So, man, the barricades. Or, like, you go cow style. I'm about to fucking... Hey, Steve. 
Where would we be without Steve? The man is jerking off his dog. Man, dog is man's best friend, yet nobody jerks him off. Think mm. about what the dog does for us. And nobody sucks, jerks the dog off. It's outrageous. Stupid, bad dog. It's outrageous. Think about it. What the heck? The dog? dog doesn't have thumbs. He can't touch himself. And here's Steve, a good man. Bad dog. Jerking off his dog and scooping the cum out. His own words, not mine. I did not <laughs> fuck my dog. <laughs> He's a good man. How dare you attack him? Where would we be without Steve? And his and now he's the cool dad. That dog loves Steve, I'll tell you what. Man, the barricade. And he'll never forget the time he's slipped a finger in. He did a little extra for the dog. He didn't have to do that, but he did. Where would we be without men like Steve? A nuclear warhead. Warhead. <laughs> wow. I hope you're shivering in your boots there, Steve-O. Oh, he must be scared. Yeah, he should be. You guys, I swear to God, I'm not exaggerating. We got a few top of the show things, and then we're going to get to Steve will jerk it. Steve will yoink it. Uh, Joe, check out this TikTok. You guys know I've been talking about getting... Uh, my haircut. I was supposed to do it yesterday. Obviously, I was sick, but um, I was going to do Jeff's Barber Shop, Friends of the Show. And he actually messaged me before I had the chance, because I was sick, I wasn't going to make it, that his uh, dog passed away. And he needed some time. And I, uh, so my heart goes out to Jeff there. Yeah, I felt bad. He's had that dog for 12 years. You know, I told, I told him, I said, man, I'm, you know, it's not fair that it's just not fair that dogs die. They should live forever. And I truly mean that. It's just not fair. You know, why don't they live longer? It's just not enough time. It's just not. I'll get somebody working on that. <laughs> There's got to be something we can do about yeah, that. I mean, what are we doing? I'll reach out. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. What do we do about it? Yeah, but, you know, the thing about losing dogs, it's such a personal experience because... Mourning the loss of a dog for the person whose dog passed, it is like losing a family member. It, it's it's as it's as impactful. It's it's as special of a relationship. And what's especially weird is that nobody can really share that grief with you because nobody has that relationship with that dog like you do. And a lot of times it's like, oh, you lost a dog, you move on. Everyone sees it like. You're not mourning, you move on. People don't give you that same, uh, kind of that same consideration, that same grieving period. And especially if you're Steve, I can only imagine when that, when Donnie passes. It's that, losing a dog and a lover. Yeah. I Oops. mean, in, in, in Jeff's case, he lost his dog and his best friend. And in right. Steve's case, when his dog passes, God forbid, He'll be losing a dog and his lover. Yeah. I'm the cool dad now. So that's so I'm really not looking forward to that for for uh, I don't even wish that on on uh, Steve. Yeah, but anyway, my heart goes out to Jeff. I'm 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 a fr I, you know what I I know the pain and I wish you all the best. Uh, Jeff, ladies and gentlemen, friends of the show. <laughs> We send our condolences to friend of the show, Jeff Wittick, and uh, we, we hold him in our hearts and our prayers and uh, <clears throat> everything else. Here is, but, but we got this tagged in this TikTok that actually got a lot of likes. It's kind of cool. That man has a furry fucking neck, bro. That was my first thought when I saw this. I ain't never seen a neck that, that furry. And I know it's all shaved down and stuff, but it looks like it goes down this far. Great, right? No? Yeah. Yeah, no. It's, it's kind of shocking, right? Well, but okay. That's not really the point of this video. No. Someone tell you did we check if this was copyrighted? Uh, this specific one, I don't believe we did. So let's just mute it then. You know, I'm just Come noticing on. right now, I've actually spoken to this girl before. She's a fan of the show. She was going to do my hair before the creator clash. 
Oh, yeah. that would have been awesome. Why didn't you do it? I don't know. I, I didn't think I could pull it off. Lena told me I should do it, but I don't know. Well, I definitely can't pull it off, which is why it's funny about it. But she does these incredible buzz cut colored... I don't know how this even works. Like, does that last? I believe so, yeah. It's just like bleaching. What? Yeah, because, for a little. But yeah. then how come Ela? I mean, dye will fade. So with each back, wash, people. the color will slowly and slowly get more muted. But right. yeah. yeah, it'll stay there for a, for a few washes at least. She's really talented. I sent her Dude. Instagram. She uh, made by Jackie Bieber. She actually does Dennis Rodman's hair. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder what I should get. So my plan is I will do Jeff's Barbershop. And then, God love him, I'm going to buzz it all off. And get my hair tie-dyed from this genius. Uh, get, you know what? You guys give me your ideas. The best idea I'll have her do. And I was thinking, like, prolapse anus. I mean, God's the, you know... The, I'll do it anything, man. Y'all just tell me what. Do <laughs> you really do that? I mean, I am committed to the pro. Wow. I am a How do you proud explain that member. to you're gonna have like meetings with Ow. I don't know, people for like Teddy Fresh or something and just have like a prolapse I'll, anus. I'll, I'll wear well, a beanie if I need to. <laughs> okay, I guess. I that's think true. if you did a quick scroll through her Instagram, you get some uh, inspiration. Some of these are wild. She had a McDonald's head for someone. McDonald's logo. Yeah, well if you guys have any um ideas, let me know. But yeah, they're pretty exciting. Super talented. Check it out. So that's fun. Something to look forward to there. Thank you. Uh, love, you've been complaining about not enough memes on the subreddit. Uh, your mic is muted there, love. Oh, you know. Uh, hold on. Uh, in love's defense, we did ask for more memes last week, so maybe that contributed. Yeah. I'm back. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we You're can back. hear you. And You're good. Um, oh, okay. well, they del they certainly delivered. Uh, they did. Your call to arms. Check yes, this sir. out. This one's really good. H3 1800 style. <laughs> what do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. My forehead looks too big, though, isn't it? Well, back then, maybe that's the standard, or that that's like a good big airline. forehead vibes. Yeah. Dan, be looking like he got some fetal alcohol. Really? What? I thought he looked like a genius. <laughs> I don't know. Your eyes are like kind of fucking low set. Or like deep set. You look like you don't drink water, just whiskey. Those are Dan's eyes, though. No, I know. <laughs> I'm just messing. <laughs> Stop. Okay, what, Dan? Say something. That was extremely rude. It's not really you. It looks like me. Dan, I think you look like a genius who maybe did Thank you. a lot of cocaine. I just but did not think it was going there. Jesus. It's not a real person, Dan. It's a fucking... That is me. Okay, all right. Sir Dan Nathan Nathaniel. That's <laughs> word love. Um, hubba hubba mama mama. Woo 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 woo. <laughs> hey, but here, hey, cut, hey, you know what? Ela, back in the 1800s, would be like, Cover up, you whore. I can see your neck. <laughs> Be more modest. Uh, this is giving me Westworld vibes. Young Samantha Templeton. Young Samantha Templeton. <laughs> what do we think? Class? Grace? I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's glossy. I hate that. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Ian Slater. It did me what kind of degenerative disease does he, he look like he has? Either. It definitely <laughs> looks like he got something, doesn't it? I mean, look at his fucking eye. Oh, he interesting. Has a massive penis. He's like ridden with syphilis. He has a massive. No, he this man has dying of dysentery. <laughs> he was, you know, he broke. He day. broke his ankle fording a river. Yeah, standard Bit stuff. by a rattlesnake. <laughs> Looks like his eyes are dissolving. I mean, what fucking disease is that? No, uh, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's real. <laughs> it looks like my... The beard is like, um... Like a vegetable growing out of my face. Like the root. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> reverse, look. right. Yeah. The beards back then were wild, man. It was all about making them like as puffy as possible. Oh, Mr. Abdullah. <laughs> Mr. Abdullah. Yeah. 
Did they base it off of that photo that he hates of himself? I have no Kinda idea. like the same pose The hair's fire, bro. The swirlies. I'll take yeah, it. That's sick. Yeah, how'd you do that? I don't know. It's my Lo great grandfather, Mad Dog. AB Mad Dog Agadola. <laughs> the fastest shot in the West. Thank you, Zach. Oh, Mrs. Lena. Cover up, you whore. Sorry. <laughs> I can see you below your necklace. I'm going to send that clip to Lena's family with no context. <laughs> 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 Uh, you, more modesty, please, damn it. You're gonna make the men go crazy. Is that, this one's kind of nuts. I didn't even recognize you, bro. But you look good, actually. Thank you. I mutton chop Z. Dude, that beard should, is next fucking level. Yeah, yeah, you should go for that, dude. Mutton chops. Like, uh, How'd they yeah. even think to do their hair like that? Like, that's just so out of pocket. It was the style of the time. Ulysses S. Bernstein over there, you know? Like, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna grow a, a satchel off the side of your face. It looks like you could, you know... It's the ultimate flavor saver. Yeah, you could put a tater tot and you could even add a zipper right here. <laughs> there you go, dude. <laughs> put your cash in there, your gold, your silver. Young love. Oh. Now that's, uh... It's a vibe. Yeah, I like it. I like, I it. like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> they did Olivia dirty. It is so hurtful. Something went wrong here. <laughs> Something is so wrong. <clears throat> oh. Yeah. They... Really good. No, no thank you. <laughs> no thanks for that. At least gift. she's dressing modestly unlike those other whores. Those harlots. Those damn harlots! Yeah, at least the fit is popping. That fit is fire! The face is lacking. You could cover up your hair next time, though. Who the fuck is this? Oh, Cameron, Jesus. Who is Cam? <laughs> it doesn't look like you at all. Cam Grant Singles here, what's up, dude? I look like an inventor. It looks like him. I yeah, now it. that I see, like, the eyes and stuff, but, yeah. So here it is, ye old H3 program. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rebrand. You're asking for a rebrand. There it is. Nice. What idiots, what losers to live back then. You God, can you imagine you being born I mean? in that fucking century? What fucking idiots? What were you doing back then, weirdos? You're walking around with umbrellas? Like, what are you, what are you doing, idiot? Oh, I got a top like hat umbrella. Oh, oh, I'm fucking cool. Idiot. Penguin brain. Fucking I ride around dumbass. in a steam, steam engine. Oh. Weirdos. Dumbass. Idiot. <laughs> Fucking morons. I'm surprised those idiots even got us here. Uh, so there's that fun little meme there at the top of the show. One other top of the meme. Top of the meme. Top of the meme to you. Now, maybe it's just the hater in me. Because I seem to be alone in this opinion. And you guys know I'm a hater ass bitch. Self labeled, self uh, identifying. Mm hmm. Why is $28 of Taco Bell trending? I'm giving in. I'm gonna click it. I saw it earlier. It's some dude said inflation's so bad that he got lunch at Taco Bell and cost $28. And everyone's like, how much fucking Wait, food did you yeah, order to get? On. Wait, I gotta watch this. <laughs> hold the fucking phone, bro. You are a monster. How much Taco Bell did you get? <laughs> fucking lunatic. What? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, admittedly, you wanna know how bad inflation is? Yesterday, yes, I had a nice lunch at Taco Bell. Cost me about $28 at Taco Bell for lunch. No. People need to pay for those things and- No shot. Let's go, how many, how much is $28? I mean, I could eat $28 of Taco Bell. Me and Leon go to Taco Bell. But, sorry, I interrupted. No, no, go ahead. We went last night, 32 bucks. For both of you? Yeah. Well, oh, so it's expensive. But not as expensive. No, twenty bucks for two for two people. I feel like that's good. Twenty eight for one. Did you get like ninety things? Yeah. Like, no. let me know your order first. Mm -hmm. I I ordered twenty for twenty eight bucks very often. Love when you were Especially here. When no, you but weren't you home. ordering for days? You said you were well, like. Not, he was buying like forty dollars of Taco Bell a night. Yeah, but for like you, three nights in a row. Yeah, but you were putting it in the freezer. You said yeah, one time I did that. That I eat a lot. I'm not a big man, but I eat a bunch. He's a fika god. Bro, yeah. you don't eat that yeah. much. I was sitting next to your ass when we were ordering. I, could, I was eating I circles around you. you. No, I can, I could I can eat more than you. I'm oh, sure Oh, shit. He definitely eats a lot. Oh, Stop shit. Stop it. Don't even step to me, bitch. 
<laughs> That's interesting, though. I don't know. Dude, I was, I know. got that young man's stomach. I'll, you know how that was. Yeah. Listen. I remember us eating together. We would order you, food, and I would eat circles around you. I would even note, like, oh, he, he's a dainty, but he doesn't eat that much. That's good for him. Hell no. I ordered the five patty burger from Five Gap, or the other place, the, the in and out Gap place, yeah. Mm-hmm. Five by five? Yeah, those patties are small. I shred small. that shit, though. It's like a, a little bit of a fika. Wait, they don't make five by fives anymore in and out Called out. I love you, but they don't make that. Do they cap out at four? Yeah, four by four. He's called called okay, out, so it, was a f it must okay, have been a four. four by four, yeah. Oh, yeah, did yeah. you eat a 10 by 10 too, love? <laughs> I, I ate bed, a 40. 40. Okay, but wait, but, but wait. So wait, he did eat a 10 by 10, nah. actually. <laughs> so wait, but you guys are saying that $28 at Taco Bell isn't... is legit? That just, I don't when, know. When you order home, though, when you order home, an average lunch is not going to oh, be Oh, when you order home, when you order from Postmates, well, that's, of course. That's delivery fee. Yeah, yeah you bro. can't include that. That's like tw that's like twenty dollars on top every time. He didn't at least. say that. He said I went to talk about. No, he did said he not? no. He said when I ordered a home. Oh, in the video, he said he ordered a home. No, Love said that. Oh, oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I think it's crazy. And, and listen, I love Taco Bell. In fact, last night because I didn't eat for two days. Mm -hmm. I was tasting taco. I was just, it entered my mind. I was like, taco, a hard taco, supreme, yep. with sour cream and tomato. I know that feeling so well. I'm feeling it. Sh should we get Taco Bell for <laughs> Fuck yeah, we should. Yeah. Lena can maybe grab it on the way back. Sam, how you feel about Taco Bell? I feel really good about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I feel really uh, you good know how about many it. Are ordering Taco Bell right now with us? Yo. Taco Bell sponsored me, bro. They keep fucking with us. They keep sending us gift cards and all this bullshit. Just pay me. We could do this every day. It could be fun. Taco Bell, thank you for the gift. Thank you, But isn't it still like $1 back. for a taco and this motherfucker spent 28 bucks? Probably got chalupas. Those do add up quick. Yeah, some items. Yeah, it just really depends on what you get, I guess. There's some stuff on there that's kind of expensive, but really? you can still eat there for super fucking cheap. Dude, the Chalupa Crunch is like a $5 taco. That is one thing that I... Dude, their little Chipotle recommend potato little. soft tacos, they're like buck fifty or something. That shit that, is good. Let me, let me see here. Yeah, I mean, a taco, a crunchy... Okay, so the prices have gone up a bit. Oh, wow, yeah. Crunchy Taco Supreme is two thirty. Those used to be $0.99, cents, man, mm -hmm. when I was a kid. Yeah. Or like about 40 years ago, yeah. Yeah, no, no, not that long ago. A chalupa uh, taco is three eighty nine. Let's look at the combos because that's what most people get, right? I mean, what? Ch you get three things a drink for eight fifty? What are you talking about? How this man spend twenty eight dollars? <laughs> that's insanely cheap. <laughs> that is pretty cheap. Wait. Especially if we're getting fifteen hundred calories in your body. Wait, this like the calorie to dollar ratio is pretty good there. Wait, this prices can't be right. Three crunchy tacos combo for six sixty. That is. I mean, you're on TacoBell.com. I think the prices are right. Cla what the fuck? You can't get a combo for five bucks. Are you crazy? Burrito, you taco, nachos, and a drink for five dollars. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I can't be that. <laughs> no, I, I think I'm, it is. I'm with you. I, no, that's no, it can't. Those be. prices don't make sense, dude. Well, maybe they charge more in LA or something. Five dollars. We're, we're in a premium market, premium taco market here. Forget about the LA beef tax. That's you think there would be taco deflation in LA with the amount of like taco trucks and? Here, let me let me put in our, our zip code here. Mm -hmm. What's our zip code? Or just a I, how about player? we don't say that on the air? Well, we're in LA. <laughs> just, put our, just, put our, just put our 90210. Just put our address. 90210. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Somebody just donated fifty dollars and said, "Here, have some Taco Bell on me." Shout out Josh Riddle. Josh fifty Riddle. bucks, we could get like four tacos Yo, for that. Oh, according to this guy, that's barely lunch for me. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Legend. Oh my, I can't control my goo. <laughs> <laughs> What a guy that ninja is, man. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse me. Oh, we haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> I don't know. This prices are kind of sussy, bro. <laughs> we'll circle back. Yo, they're sussy. <laughs> You're on TacoBell.com. <laughs> but how do you find They're lying. Put your cow, breed tortilla, oh, cut come up on. lettuce, 
bring it all That's the way totally to LA, argument. hire someone to make it, and then hand it to your ass for five fucking dollars. That's, That's a totally different a deal. That's a different conver- conversation altogether. Okay. It's not five bucks. Hmm. <laughs> Something's off here. Anyway, let's it's move on. Not. We're gonna get Taco Bell though. <laughs> Uh, Moving on, um, we were, oh yeah, we we're gonna talk about something really important. Mm. Our beautiful sponsors, because we're at the 30 minute no, mark? No, our Taco Bell order. So Lena can get on the <laughs> way back. I could ask her. Did she, did she go to your house? I'm Actually, not. you know what? Mm. It'd be interesting to hear what your guys' Taco Bell order is. I don't know if that's that interesting. I'm interested. I kind of want to know. Pretty vanilla. My, my Taco Bell... It's it's like, I feel like my order is a time, it's a place in time. Because when everybody was going <laughs> vegan on YouTube, I was also vegan at the time. So everyone was like, okay, here's what you got to do. You got to get a crunch wrap. You have to replace the beef with beans. Mm-hmm. No sour cream, no cheese. Yep. Make it fresca, add potato. And that's what I've done. You still since. do that? Mm-hmm. So good. That is so, a solid so, order right there. So yeah. how do you, so tell AB that. I'll see the LA taco. All right, so. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> vegan. Tell this to Lena. Say sour cream, uh, replace beef with beans, no sour cream, no cheese, make Easy. it fresca, all that. All that. All that? Can you just oh, text yeah. me? <laughs> yeah. Just text me. Yeah, for myself, I think I just want, like, I'm loving those Taco Supremes. Anyone with me? Oh, yeah. Uh, Dorito Taco Supremes? I can't those follow you down this path. For me. <sighs> I've those. followed you for years. Ethan, I cannot follow you down this what? path. What? What's wrong with the Taco Supreme? What do you like? It's got beef in it. I know you're a vegetarian, bro. That's all I'm, I'm saying. I can't follow you down. You said, who's with me? I said, I cannot oh, follow you down this path. I got you. I love, I love their, like, rehydrated beef that. surprise. That shit <laughs> hits so hard. They oh. brought back the Mexican pizza, which I think was, like, genius marketing to get rid of it for whatever reason. That's what that they always good? do. Yeah. Is, is that good? I'm not sure. He has no I pizza love it, yeah. experience. Really? Mm-hmm. Should I it's always one? sold out. You sell out? Since That's it's been back, it's been sold out. I I don't get it probably once out of every time. How do you time sell out? out? What is that? I've had over it's funny that people are so uh, passionate about Taco Bell. I see lots of comments of passionate Taco Bellians. Mexican pizza for life. Cheesy Fiesta potatoes. Bro, I gotta say, those potatoes are insane. They're so good. Those cheesy Fiesta. That's part of my order. I'd be having a, I'd be having a Fiesta in my toilet, though. Hell yeah, brother. Beefy melt. <laughs> All right, let's let, uh, let's let's take this off the air. They're gonna have to pay us if they want us to have this in-depth conversations about Taco Bell. Because <laughs> I guarantee everyone knows what they're getting for lunch now. You hear that, Taco Bell? <clears throat> All right, let's thank our sponsors, and then we'll get to the Rock wanting to eat this baby. <laughs> rock is about the fuck video of the year coming up. Already, I didn't think anyone would be able to surpass uh, weights and fish. But just a few short days later. Look how he's looking at him. That's a meal to the rock, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! That's some, yum, pro- yum, 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 that's yum. some good protein. And the stem cells, forget about it. <laughs> Regenerative qualities in a, in a, ta- in a uh, young child. Wait, real quick, what do you, what's your order? We're sending the orders right now. I need yours. <sighs> you know, I like the bean and cheese burrito. That hits super fucking hard. Just like a classic bean and cheeser. Mm-hmm. 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 So let me let me do this. Yep. Let me do this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Three taco supremes. Three taco supremes. Yes. Yes. Got it. And two bean cheese and rice burritos. Two. That's a lot of bean food. Bean cheese and rice. Okay. Like, well, let me calculate. What is the calories? It's probably only you know. 2300. <laughs> Wait, okay, so hold on. A, a, a Taco Supreme has 190 calories. Okay, and you're getting three. So that's. Let's call it 600. Yeah, that's fine. 1.3 million. No, cab, cab. I know and how you, you calculate one calories, bean and, cheese, bean, cheese, and rice? And then, ta- and then um, bean and cheese burrito Taco Bell. Let's just say, just to give me an idea here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bean and cheese Taco Bell burrito is, oof, 400. Oh, that's that's that cheese me back. boy. So if I were to eat what I ordered, which is three tacos and two burritos, that is not good. That's going to be putting me at like uh, 1500 calories already. 
Look, I'm not trying to bust <laughs> balls here, so you, but you've been doing so well on your diet. It's Taco Bell's always going to be there, man. You know? Are you saying don't go that hard? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going too hard. How about just the three? I commend Three Taco Supremes. I commend That's plenty of food. Like, you know, I'm not, by I'm the not, way, I am, I am, I am going to be a buzzkill, and I am protesting Taco Bell because you were like, I'm not, Shut the I'm not getting Taco fuck Bell. Fuck up, baby. I'm not getting it. Wait, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're definitely getting Taco Bell. Thank you. This is why I'm asking about the calories because, thank you, Zach. I'm down 20 pounds, by the you way. You look fucking 20 fantastic. pounds. Yes, don't stop. We applaud I'm that. not. That's why I'm asking about the calories. But look, you got to look at this way. The Taco thing, Bell is always going to be there. Do you want to, you know, it's just like. The calorie, the, the diet I'm doing, Zach, I eat what I want and I just, and I mom. plan. Okay, fair and enough. I plan around the calories that I'm eating. You know what I mean? Fair, fair enough. And, you know, to each his own. But look, I'm just saying you're looking really good. Low willpower. Thank you, bro. Thank yeah. you. So let's revise that then. Let's say... Yeah, so those tacos hit hard and they're not as... They're really light, which I like, you know. So let's say 600 plus... Maybe I should just skip the burrito altogether. That thing is fucking gnarly, eh? Right? Or I could do three talk, Or I could do two tacos and a burrito. Which mm. would be 800 calories. Which is somewhat reasonable. Right? In it. Yeah. Hmm. Something like that. Something, yeah. Alright, let's do that. Two Taco Supremes and one bean cheese rice burrito. Thank you. And that's on gosh. Got it. On gosh. Locked in. Thank you. Alright, exciting times. Yes, I'm down 20 pounds. I weighed this morning. Fantastic. You know, who would have thought that not eating food for two days would be good for my diet? <laughs> That's basically what happened. Dude, I'll tell you, Taco Bell's so nostalgic, though. Nothing hit like that shit, boy. Yeah, right. It's I, the best. I've been getting down with Taco Bell since I was a fucking kid. It was probably the, one of the worst, first things I spent my own money on. Some fucking tacos, I, man. Amazing. I was introduced to Taco Bell by a friend when I, I didn't start eating it until I was like 18. Like I didn't. I never really. Tried. Yeah. So what did you eat first when you went there? Uh, Crunchwrap Supreme, um, Chalupa. Um, but to this day, the Crunchwrap Supreme is my favorite. That's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Samantha, thank you for the gifted. Hi, David. Just wanted to say hi. Hi, David. Just want to say hi to my boyfriend since we normally watch the pod together. Hi, oh, David. it's a message to David. Right. Via. Caught me off guard there. Yeah. Oh, by the way, just a little thing. We did upload our members only podcast yesterday for our members only who we love so well. I was sick, so it was a little it was a little uh, touch and go, but um it's there. We talked about our favorite shows, everything we've been watching, me and Ela together. So, that's up for our members who we love. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's thank our sponsors and get to the Brock, who he doesn't need Taco Bell, bro. People just hand him beards, babies to eat. Can you Postmates a baby? Because I think that's what happened here. <laughs> I would love to Postmates a just baby. Im just imagine he Postmated a baby and this is how it's delivered. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> this He goes, this going to taste good. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm going to eat this right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> what are you spoiling the video, man? <laughs> I, I got a lot to break down about that video. Yeah. All right, thank you to Honey. Yes, sir. It's Honey. It's an easy way to save when you're shopping on your iPhone or computer. Love Honey. Whenever I shop online in Ela, we buy, you know, it doesn't really matter where you are. If it's makeup, furniture, food, computers, Amazon, Honey is there to help you save. Um, thanks to Honey, manual searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shipping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites. And when you check out, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupon. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons you can find for that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, you will watch the price drop magically. <clears throat> Pull something up, Dan. I mean, the savings are insane. <clears throat> 120. Oh, wait, yeah. 21 bucks off 122 uh, purchase. Off uh, 143. 
Holy smokes, dude. Was this uh, an ELO one? Uh, I think this one was actually from a fan. Oh, okay. Great. Even better. Yep. Uh, it's insane. You're literally just... You, it's a browser you install in two clicks. It doesn't cost anything. It's free to download. Boom, boom, it's installed. And then when you're shopping across the internet or on your iPhone, uh, at, at checkout, it just automatically notifies you like, Hey, we got a coupon. It's going to save you 20 bucks. Or... You, I mean, it's 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 fantastic. You it's don't even free have to money. Think about it, dude. Uh, it really is. I I would venture to say it's saved us a thousand dollars by now. Honestly, how much money Honey saved you guys? Come on. Uh, hundreds of thousands. It saved me a lot. Yeah. It's a, it's no, it, using it, it has. A fan, so. Yeah, like since a, like the. I mean, it does. They first became a sponsor. I've been using it, and it always it pops up every. Once in a while, when you're checking out, and so it's always just a couple bucks. It's so rewarding, though. You're like, it oh, is. It's I feel so like I, I worked for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Remember, Honey doesn't just work on desktop; it works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari, on your i on your phone, and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show, which we love. Thank you. Uh, I use Honey. I love Honey. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3. Thank you. Thank you to Honey. <coughs> and <coughs> stamps. We all need stamps. We all got to mail stuff. And let's be honest. With the holiday coming up. With all the insane hubbub, we're going to have to deal with the post office, the chaos. And if you're not already planning, you're already falling behind. But luckily, Stamps.com has already got you covered to make your life a whole lot easier. It's the 24-7 post office that you can access from anywhere. There's no lines, no traffic, and no hassle. And what's even better about Stamps.com is it's cheaper. They get huge discounts because they are this. they order in bulk, right? And that's how it works with a lot of these shipping companies. You can negotiate down the prices, you know. For example, USPS and UPS rates, they get up to 86% off. Oh, my God. <clears throat> so if you're not using Stamps.com, not only are you wasting your time, you're wasting your money, too. Uh, Stamps.com prints postage wherever you do business. All you need is a computer and a printer. And if you if you uh, need a package pickup, you can usually schedule it through your Stamps.com dish, dish, dashboard. Rates are consistently changing. With Stamps.com switch and save feature, you can easily compare carrier's rates so you know you're getting the best deal every time. And if you're running an online store, Stamps.com works seamlessly with all major shopping carts and marketplaces. <clears throat> it's so It works so easy. Basically, you get a digital scale that they send you. You go online. You weigh the, the package or envelope, and it tells you the exact amount of postage you need. Print it, put it on, and then here's my favorite part. You leave it on the door, you put it in the mailbox, they come and get it you from your house. It, <clears throat> it's insanely convenient. One of the best services around. Go ahead and get it ahead of the holiday chaos this year with Stamps.com. Sign up with promo code H3 for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. They say postage is as good as cash. Isn't that right? You can use post. You can use stamps as money in this country. <laughs> Technically, I think that may be true still. Yeah. It was in the Old West when uh, those photos were taken, at least. Mm-hmm. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code H3. Thank you, stamps.com. Yeah. <coughs> and finally, everyone's favorite, HelloFresh. Fupa Troopers love HelloFresh because they deliver home-cooked, delicious meals, fresh, legit. Yes, yes, yes. We love it. Ooh. Hey, did you know if you go to HelloFresh.com slash H3TV65 and use the code H3TV65, you get 65% off. Wow, no. I plus know. free shipping. Huh. Free shipping, y'all. Free shipping, y'all. 
It's almost that holiday season to be pumping that song. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait. Guys, HelloFresh is such a great service. They they deliver farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes right to your doorstep. Let's skip the trip to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit, folks. Check out some of these. These are all photos submitted by Fupa Troopers. These are not, you know, these are not like promotional photos. These are real deal. Mm -hmm. Scroll down. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Down. What's that one? This one? Why would you include that? It's like, it's just a burrito. Because it's the real deal. Wait, you're talking about this one or... or I don't know. Anyway, uh, HelloFresh, guys. If you subscribe to HelloFresh and check save money off your fall to-do list, HelloFresh is actually even 25% cheaper than takeout and less expensive than grocery shopping, too, because you get exactly what you need and you don't have to throw out the 10 pounds of celery. What's the deal with celery? Like, honestly. What is the deal with celery, man? They sell it in massive quantities. Nobody used that much celery. Insane. So wasteful, awful. I mean, I'm right, right? Yeah. You literally only mm -hmm. use one stock of celery. It's absurd. But HelloFresh is eliminating that celery waste. God forbid. I mean, there's people in it. there's hungry people that would have eaten that celery. Can you imagine just giving homeless people celery to munch on? <laughs> so Bro. That shit's barely edible, like raw. It's like the most non-food food product <laughs> yeah. ever. Yo, homie. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Here's some celery. Munch on some water. Here you go. We got some leftovers. We only needed one stick. Um, yeah. Hella fresh rules, man. It's fun. It's easy. The meals are always delicious and fresh. You learn about cooking. If you don't know how to cook, it's great. It's just super fun. And as I said, go to HelloFresh.com slash H3TV65 and use the code H3TV65 for 65% off plus free shipping. What a deal. That's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yes. Yes. Purchase some celery. Ah. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Crunching some celery. Yep. Pe yep. Well, lots of people defending celery. Oh. In chat. Piss I, off. Guys, I'm you really defending raw celery by itself? That's hilarious. Crunchy thing ass water. Get the fuck out! That's a hilarious that's the most hilarious food you could give a homeless person. Straight up. Like what's funnier than that? Iceberg lettuce, maybe? Lettuce is more edible than celery. Just a full head of cabbage? <laughs> Rock cabbage? Here you go, bro. Not even cabbage, like iceberg. Like just I don't know. Ca I iceberg is more edible, in my opinion, than just like a fucking head of cabbage to just hear munch on this. Cabbage bro. like has some nutritional Ooh. value, though, right? Like not a ton, but like there's like something in it. Iceberg lettuce is just like empty. Cucumbers yeah. are the highest water content of any food, so maybe. Cucumbers. But I feel like I it's, cucumber, it it's substantial enough that like yeah, it would cucumbers seem got like still. yeah. Really, cucumber? Yeah. Of any food? Yeah, I said, what food has most water quantity? Cucumber. Wait, uh, what about watermelon? Or corn? You would think. Corn? Corn? Yeah, corn. Why check corn? for corn. <laughs> Somebody check for corn. <laughs> Wait, why corn? Corn has a lot of water in it. Okay. I'll explain. Yeah. Many crops. <laughs> I mean, but wait, where's watermelon on that list? Because that motherfucker are watery, dude. <laughs> Corn's water content is 32%. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Watermelon. That egg water content, bro. I was so confident in that. <laughs> Corn seems pretty dense. Watermelon is 90%. So cucumber it takes the gold. What is cucumber's percentage? 96. What? Yeah. What? How could it be that much water? <laughs> Ask God. I don't know. Yeah, that's on God. <laughs> and that's on God. Water. What are you doing up there, God? You're making food that's 96% water? It's a shenanigans. Dumbass. Idiot? Moron. <laughs> what an idiot God, God is. is. Fucking dumbass, dude. Stupid. You forgot to put more shit in it, idiot. Man of God. Water. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get back to the good stuff here. The Rock is about to eat your baby. Now, what I was saying is that I tend to be alone on this, but I really don't like The Rock, and I'll tell you why. 
Shut up, bitch. Yeah, exactly. One, I love that soundbite. Uh, I don't like that he's in every fucking thing. It's like the Ryan Reynolds thing. I used to like Ryan Reynolds, but you start putting him in every fucking thing, and I want to see someone else in a movie, man. It's not even his fault. It's like, I just want to see someone else. Why do they keep putting the same fucking people in movies and they keep playing themselves? It's not like The Rock has this great range as an actor. He plays yeah. the same fuck, same with Ryan Reynolds. He plays the same fucking character in every movie and he's in every movie. I'm like, God damn, bro. It's not, not nothing personal against The Rock. But like, fuck. Am I wrong? No, I feel you. He's and, like the action hero of this generation, but I like when Arnold was the dude. Dude, Arnold. Really wrong. Yeah. Here's the thing about Arnold. That dude. Arnold had. Who is my daddy? Such a range, bro. I'll be straight up. Mm -hmm. He was the action star, but he had range. You ever seen uh, the one where he got pregnant, Dan? Where you <laughs> shook your head? Danny DeVito. That guy's got chops. I think the big difference between The Rock and Arnold is really just that Arnold was fortunate enough. I don't know if it was that his agent was really good or it was just the era that he blew up in. But he's in so many really <laughs> fucking good movies. And The Rock is Get in down. dog shit movies. Every movie he's yeah. in suck. Yeah. Everyone. Like if The Rock had been in Terminator and fucking Total Recall and like because all of these the like Rock, because the Conan, Rock, dude, because The Rock is such you. He's such an egomaniac. You can tell he refuses to play a bad guy. He I has to play the good guy every mm. fucking time. And in his rider, he can't lose a fight. It's like the, wait, is that real? Yes, I've read. I mean, allegedly, I've heard that. But that's mm. the thing where men action stars they have in their contracts they're not allowed to lose a fight on screen. That's so swear funny. on Garsh. <laughs> Wait, I I love that. He can't lose. Didn't he can't that lose. Didn't that happen with the Fast yeah. and Furious? <laughs> like that's what happened with Fast and Furious. He can but. tie. He can tie, but he can't lose. Now there is an article. The Rock, Vin Diesel, and Jason Statham contractually can't <laughs> lose fights. Yeah, I'm sure you're going to be making the best movie in the world when you're being to the writers and director. Yo, I'm down to do this, but I can't lose any fights, just to let you know. You know, the hero's journey where he always wins every fight? Yeah, that's character development. That's a super interesting fucking story, Rock. His top rated huh. movie on Rotten Tomatoes is Moana, which I kind of agree with. It's that, pretty great. Yeah. yeah. And his voice? Because he wasn't in it. Yeah. His, his song? <laughs> Love it. Can you pull up? Um, I want to look over his Rotten Tomato uh, filmography. I sent a link. Yeah, that has a countdown. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's see. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Moana was good. Fighting with the family. What in the God's name is even that? I've never heard of that. Furious no Seven. This man's third top rated. <clears throat> that movie rocks, though. I'm just saying. Just his saying. top number three is Furious Seven. You've got to give those movies a chance. This at some motherfucker point, been in hundreds of films, and Furious Seven is his number three. The, this man only has two movies in the 90%. I mean, that's an exclusive club, to be fair. But no, it's, 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 I mean, for the, I guess hundreds? the amount of movies that he does, yeah, that is pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, but this is all dog shit movies. And then. Look, th he only has. Okay, let's do. Let's do it like this. The only fresh ones above sixty percent. He has only thirteen. The Jungle Cruise movie is that fresh. movie rocked. That That's was a fresh. great movie. You know what? <laughs> I, I I did see a movie on here that I like. The Mummy Returns. He's a side character in that, so I don't know if it counts. But well, he's the Scorpion King. He's the Scorpion King. Yeah. Yeah. I love those movies. And he had his own spinoff movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder how that one did. Uh, it's probably going to be near the bottom of this list. So he has 13 movies that are fresh, and then fucking... Oh, yeah. Okay. These are all... This man is the king of making dog Who's shit there? films. May watch the Doom movie. I'm just saying, I think The Rock being in a movie is always a very bad sign. Like, if The Rock's in a movie, you know it's going to be bad. It's going to be corny, it's going to be trash, it's going to be reductive Hollywood trash, and... Uh, yeah, I guess no argument there. Look at this. Uh, this is incredible. <laughs> this is The Rock in four separate movies. Look at this. <laughs> this is four separate movies. 
No. Yep. Yeah. That can't be. <laughs> Four separate movies. <laughs> He's Four. The same. Hold on. He knows what looks good. That's four Wait. separate movies. Oh, one of them is this the guy from Fortnite. Yeah, yeah, he's the guy. That's where yeah. he blew yeah. up. Welcome, oh, now welcome. I see him. It's Welcome to the Jungle, Jumanji, Jumanji Two, and Jungle Cruise. Okay, Jumanji and Jumanji Two. That's stretching. It's the same. Why? Because it's, it's the movies. same character. You can be wearing the same different shirt though. Well, uh, bro, he doesn't even look different. It's like the same yeah. style. I mean, thing. He's, he's a character in the game, I think. But I'm sorry, it's still bad. But it's hilarious. <laughs> to contrast this list, I sent Arnold's top movies according to Rotten Tomatoes, and his are really <laughs> high up there. Dude, Arnold was making classic after classic. First of all, yeah, the man made one of the best movies ever, the Terminator series. First one's done better than the second. I like That's this. A fact. I agree. I agree. This I, second one is. Yeah, that should be higher. Yeah, yeah, universally, people say. The I think the one's first better. one was just like. First one's still rock. Shocking. Like yeah. You had to be there kind of thing. Yeah. But the second one is more more iconic, I think. The fact that. Total, Total Fucking Recall, one of my favorite so films. So good. So fucking good. Cool. Yep. And, and I think Total Recall is one of these films that like gets better with time. Absolutely. I, I don't yeah. I think. Like when you go back and look at films like Fifth Element, it's, its rating is so fucking low, even though it's like an absolute classic. Predator. Yeah, cult followings. Original Predator is such a fucking sick movie. Okay. It's honestly That's so insane, fucking good. Bro. Way better than it deserves okay. to be. Okay. So good. I, I have to talk shit about number six. I love True Lies, by the way. Great Terminator movie. Dark Fate is the worst sequel to a film I've ever seen. Is that the third one? Can, can, oh, that's like the really recent one. Oh, yeah, 2019. So what they did is they... They just like they uh, didn't count any film after Terminator 2. This is supposed to be the continuation, and like the movie starts. Spoiler alert! In the opening scene, there's another Terminator that comes. They had like a de-aged John Connor and Sarah Connor, and shotgun to the chest kills John Connor, um, and it's just the stupidest shit ever. <coughs> Fuck that movie. It ruined my childhood. All right, well, don't blame Arnold. Shit. No, I don't blame him. True Lies was awesome. You know. Commando's a goofy ass movie. The Running fun. Man was great. Running Man's cool. The original oh, Conan. Have you ever seen that? Like the OG first Conan movie? No. It's honestly fucking sick. It's really good. I think that was his Arnold first made a lot role. of thinkers. Too. Yeah, I think it yeah, I think you're right. I think that was the first was movie first, he ever did. But you know what? Even like these Yo, movies, Mr. Freeze, iconic role. That's even what I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> even though this the movie's dog shit, you're talking about Mr. Freeze. Chill out. Chill. Loud. I love uh, Jingle All the Way, number 32. Turbo yeah. Man. Why are they hating so much on Jingle All the Way? I don't know, I like that. It wasn't bad. It was a fine Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. Jamie. Jamie. Oh. Turbo Man. Raw deal. <laughs> I guess Arnold did make a lot of dumbass movies like this. What does he do? Back in the 80s, it was like gratuitous violence. Like, yeah. Raw deal. I fucking tear out your lungs. I feel like I don't even know what that movie is. And then... Yeah, Arnold was like gratuitous violence, and The Rock is like insanely family-friendly bullshit. Those Expendable movies are pretty good, too. So anyway, oh, Junior, what? But I'm not fucking, what? 39%? Are you kidding me right now? Well, you don't actually like that movie, do you? That movie is a- iconic. <laughs> what? Dude, stop it. Wait, time out. Is Twins on this <laughs> list? Yeah, it's on there. Oh, okay. oh wait. Twins, maybe that's one. I think you're thinking of Twins. Because that had Danny DeVito, too. Yeah. That is an iconic fucking movie. You're thinking of Twins. Wait. Because that one is a pretty funny comedy. Wait, Last Action Hero? I loved that movie as a kid. Yeah, that's o- that one always got panned. Wait, uh, I feel do. like kind of unfairly. I'm gutted by this score. I thought that movie was on. I, I feel like it, it's, its reputation has improved a little bit over the years. Although it's still not considered, like, amazing. But Wait, why did they play my boy like that? <laughs> Anyway, I don't know. So there it is. Rock sucks. That's my thesis, and I'm sticking to it. Vista, motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, compared to Arnold, the so, goat. And people right. just really idolize him. But anyway, here's someone literally hand- crowd surfing their baby to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that woman should not. You just did you just hand your baby to a stranger to hand him to? Cam, what's up? Oh. Never mind. I was just curious what was, if anything was up back there. Sorry, rock. What? Uh, all good. Never mind. Okay. The Rock. Kiss my baby. Like he's the Pope or some shit. So now there's an intermediate God. now. Ethan. <laughs> we've been talking about this clip for, let me see. How long have we been talking about it? Because you started before minutes. the break. At least 15 minutes, probably 20. 
You haven't shown the video yet. Can you just play it? I'm playing. You play. You're, you're playing it for like a second it. at a time, I'm and then you pause. I'm trying to fucking play the video, <laughs> and you're the one stopping it now. Do not. Play. You are the thing that you despise. Don't you understand? Do not play this, man. You're the one that's fucking holding it up now, bro. <laughs> we can't play it. It's cursed. It's cursed. <laughs> All right, Dan, can I play it now? Or are you going to interrupt Please me? Please play it, yes. Do not play this, man. Hold on, pause it, pause it, pause yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I just wanted to be annoying. <laughs> yep. Okay, all right. You know that was coming? <laughs> Dinner! <laughs> oh, my God. Grab that baby like a fucking titan. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. I don't, I don't know what the fuck. Why you? I don't love anyone enough to hand my child <laughs> shit. When I first saw this, it's such a good twist when you don't know the rocks coming at the end because it's already, right. it's already like you're watching this video and it's like, what are they doing in this baby? Why is the baby being like crowd surfed mm -hmm. at like a concert? Like this is baby not a good idea. And Baby then we, wants, <laughs> and we ah. reveal that it's The Rock waiting eagerly to mm. get his mitts on that baby. The Baby Rock is hungry. You got, hey, you know he eats a lot of calories. Yeah. To keep that physique. How oh. many calories? Yeah, but this this person is a human is, baby. Is this thing? Jesus? Some dammer territory. Yo, an entire baby is almost thirteen thousand calories. You, you know down what? that whole thing. How Good do thing they know we got that? Taco Bell. Wait, how do they know that? Uh, archaeological studies suggest non adults were also consumed. I guess it was a study on a tribe that was cannibals, and I guess they ate babies too. Ew, that's And so eating up. an entire baby offers about 12,823 calories. All right, uh, you know what, Dan? I really wish I didn't know that. So Thanks, I'll, Dan. Yeah. Don't tell me that. Any more about eating babies, please. Oh, thank you for the gifted dummy. Ten gifted. <laughs> that's not nice to say about somebody. That's the name. That's their name. <laughs> they be gifted. Oh my! I can't control my goo. <laughs> no more baby eating facts, please. <laughs> that is surprisingly <laughs> a lot, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. High, it's dense. I think the rock does it. Yeah, is this a child protective service issue? Because I, I don't know, man. You shouldn't be handing your baby off to first of all an intermediate traveler. <laughs> don't worry, I got it. And who hands it off to The Rock. It wasn't even a direct... <laughs> and by the way, this is at the Black Adams premiere. Another movie you know is going to suck bad. <laughs> yeah. And, Baby will start to cry. And I don't want And listen, I love kids. I love my kids more than anything. I don't want to hold other people's kids. It's like a liability. Uh, you know he's, he doesn't want this baby. It's been foisted on him. And I've loved kids jumping <laughs> on my lap. <laughs> Foisted that baby. He's got to, you know, be politician, kissing babies and stuff. You know, the parent just like ran away. Um, it's yours. It's like leaving it at the fire station. It's weird. You leave it with the rock. You know, <laughs> at the Black Adam premiere. What's stranger to me about this video is that he's wearing a vest without anything under it. Oh, interesting. That's true. Why didn't I notice that? Like, what the fuck? I think the baby was distracting you, bro. Like, what in the hell, dude? Show off the guns, dude. You're just wearing a vest, brother. And pants with a drawstring under the vest. Dress pants with a drawstring. I have some of those. I can't hate on that. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that they made those. <laughs> brother, you're mm -hmm. just wearing a damn vest. <laughs> you got nothing else on, my man. That's a hell of a look. But there it is. That's the rock. He does what he wants. Let's see if there's any interesting Twitter comments on here. Oh, have you guys seen this fake uh, rock guy on Twitter? He looks and sounds just like the rock. Are we sure? And he's on. He oh yeah, here it is, dude. And he can these all these people think he's the fucking rock, and these videos are hilarious. Wait, that's like so clearly not the rock. <laughs> no, but his smile and his voice. He yeah, goes, I mean, I guess. Is, is, not, is she biting him? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's going on. on there. Listen how how he laughs. Listen to the sound he makes. Oh my God. Dude, that's ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <I, laughs> 
I'm at a loss of words. Of this girl just biting his titty. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's the rock. <laughs> Trying to suck his energy. She's really putting a lot into that. Yeah. Girl, you got you need you need Jesus, girl. Well, I heard the the rock's tit milk is like really good for you. Mm. Yeah. Milk. High in protein. Yeah. Another top of kind of milk. That sweet milk. So there's the rock. Not a fan, but you know, nothing personal. It's, it's just it's enough already. This video has been making its way. Did you guys um, copyright check this? Because I feel like this is the viral hog territory. I did. I yeah. did. Yeah. Don't hog me, bitch. I hate viral hogs. I hog. know. I was, I was afraid of this, too, with this video. I don't know why I'm still afraid they're going to claim me, but yeah, I'm looking at it right now. It's the thing claimed. is, they'll like, go by the clip and then claim everyone who watched it. It's mm -hmm. so annoying. Scum. They are. They are scum. Hogs. We can skip. We Fucking got, hogs. We got gold after this, so... Should we just skip it? Let's just skip it. It's a fun video if you guys want to watch it. But I think we should do it. You think we should watch it? No, I think we should just fucking tell Viral Hog to fuck off. Yeah, claim let's us. do it. As long as Dan's taking the blame. Because... I feel like every time we watch one of these viral videos, it always gets claimed. By the hog. Do it! By... We'll just contest it. It'll probably get overturned. It almost always does. It would, but it's the whole contestion thing is annoying because it takes like months, literally, for it to go through. Right, but it doesn't. We don't lose any revenue during that. Theoretically, it's just but like I don't an think escrow. YouTube really even knows what happens you, in that. You don't trust them. They don't. <laughs> like I've asked my my partner manager. I've asked people higher up. I go, okay, so you have this escrow account. So when does the escrow account get released to me? What happens to the money from before the escrow account? Right. If you they if you lose, right? What happens to the money before? And they just said. They, they don't know. Well, they all go, we'll look into that, and they never get back to me. <laughs> okay. What does Susan say? Yeah, why don't you just call up your Susan girl? Susan doesn't know anything. She says, what's that escrow account? Hmm. He said, okay, Susan. <laughs> oh, my God! Yeah, right. so for one thing to point out first is how the deer trips. Everybody's so incompetent and helpless in this video. <laughs> deer trips. Oh, my God! <laughs> Idiot. Back up. You know what? Let's not watch it. <laughs> I'm over it. It sounds so much worse than what it is. It's not bad at all. Yeah. It's funny. Nobody gets hurt. Yeah. It's just whatever. Y'all can watch viral videos on uh, something hilarious.com or whatever the fuck there are now. Hi, funny. Mm -hmm. This isn't Will William jo This isn't Ray William Johnson, bitch. This isn't equal <laughs> three. Like th this isn't equal three. This is H three. <laughs> yes, thank you. Do I look like Ray William Johnson? A little bit. I'm, I'm kidding. You know Ray William Johnson's besties with Jeff Dunham. I did not know that. I've seen them together. That's weird. And then what's his name was friends with Kyle Rittenhouse. Um, yep. Uh, oh, Buskis. Kobe. Buskis, yeah, these old uh, OG YouTubers. Hey, hold on. New friends. Jeff Dunham, Ray That's William down. Johnson. I gotta find these. They did a bunch of photos together. They're like buddies. Here they are, man. Here it is. The comedy uh, triad. Nice. My boy Ahmed. I've never, man, so much funny packed into one photo, boy. Tell you what. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody funnier than that, boy. You know, I saw... Somebody posts like an ad for uh, Jeff Dunham, like upcoming thing, and I think he's uh, I think he's leaning into like fuck cancel culture type uh, comedy now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, shit. Ah, yeah, that's awesome. What, that's, me, uh, what, that's exactly what we need from Jeff. Yeah, he's on tour. Yeah, here After, it is. Mm -hmm. Here's my. Oh, he's gonna have like a blue hair. Call his Jeff. Jeff Dunham, still not canceled. Bro, are you serious that you're still putting canceled in? You're a ventriloquist, dude. Your shit's not edgy at all. You're a ventriloquist. You're a fucking controlled <laughs> dummies. <laughs> like two years ago, putting canceled in your special title was cringe. Still not canceled. Mm-hmm. Sure. Try have Lena get you tickets, though? I would be down for someone to go and report on it. 
<laughs> That's almost like punishment. I wouldn't want to sit there. Like if you get show. if you get mad at somebody on the show, you should assign them to go to a Jeff Dunham stand up <laughs> Wait, let's comedy get, show. Let's go. Who wants to go see Jeff Dunham? I did, I'll go goes. if Ian goes with me. Or is oh. it? Or is it? Oh, we're dragging Ian into but this. If 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 we go to that, can we get Terry Fader tickets as well? Yeah. The other ventriloquist dude. We got uh, Jeff Dunham fans in the office. That was happening. So you like puppets? Dunham heads? Just get Dunheads? Yeah, go and uh-huh. get the worst tickets. I'm not trying to spend money on Jeff. <laughs> the worst tickets. Yeah. I just think put them in the nosebleeds. As as a Middle Eastern man, as an Arab man, it'd be funny to see a white man have a a dead Arab, Ahmed the yeah, undead terrorist puppet, and see what he says, and you know. I think the fun. audience would reject you. We don't want none of your con around here. Oh, that's why I'm perfect. I blend in. Or Lena. We don't want none of your con around here. Oh, Lena's not getting through the door. Hey, do an extra search on them. <laughs> ain't no having no bombs going on here today, boy. Still ain't canceled. Still ain't blowed up. Mm-hmm. Lena's middle name's Ahmed. That's she's, a problem. Yeah, she's not getting in. That's a problem. Ain't no Ahmeds allowed in here, boy. It's so fucking racist. All of his shticks are just like super racist. I'm spicy jalapeno. <laughs> like that's literally how. That's the a, joke. He has a fucking puppet that's a spicy jalapeno. Yep. I'm a spicy jalapeno. I don't work, Senor Dunham. I like to sleep all day. <laughs> ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, Mr. Dunham. I come in illegally to the country and rape young white girls. <laughs> That's one of his bits. Super controversial. Still not canceled, though. I like to rape white women with my spicy jalapeno. Yes, Mr. Denim. <laughs> one of y'all going to see Jeff Dunham. I'm serious. Get tickets for that, Dan. Get two of the worst tickets, okay, and send one. All right, let's see. Well, hopefully they're coming to L.A. But, Ian, I think that would be a fun opportunity for you and maybe <laughs> A.B. or whoever to go, and you can make a whole segment out of it. What do you think? What do you think, Ian? I, I don't know how I ended up roped into this. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell you, like you how, I'll tell you how <laughs> because when we did the last segment at the crypto concert, it was the first time me and Ian spent some real bonding time alone. Mm. So it was nice. I enjoyed it. I just want to spend some time with Ian. I see. Okay, well, I that's think that'd wholesome. be great. No, I, wholesome. I'm roping you in, Ian, because I want you to make a fun segment out of it. Well, I, I kind of got the uh, vibe that Zach kind of might want to go. Like, no, I'm a Terry Fader guy. That's exactly why Zach can't go. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want him to have too much fun. No. Okay. I'm a Terry Fader. Then it's a reward. Yeah. Is there any white women in the audience today? Mm. A spicy jalapeno will be raping all these single white women. Okay. It sounds like you know all his jokes, Ethan. Are you, are you a fan? Well, you a fan? I'm just assuming, you know, I'm just using my imagination. Mm. Hey, hey, my name is Ahmed, the undead terrorist. Where's the nearest synagogue? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, these are... <laughs> This is his bitch he does. Bro, he's not coming to California. Oh, he knows his audience. That right, motherfucker's trip. not even coming to our state. Road trip, Ian. Me and you. Wait. I mean, he, I'm sure he has plenty of fans here, but um, <laughs> yeah, and a lot of the state, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's an East Coast tour. It's like all East Coast and South. You want to you wanna fly somebody oh, out? to? Let's, uh, let's see, where the closest one I, is. Uh, I want to see if he has any other Arabs in the crowd if, if he's performing in Michigan near Dearborn, which has the highest population of right, Arabs yeah. in the U.S. I so. don't see is any Is he doing Michigan in New York dates. City or any other lib bastion? Uh, I think I did see New York, yeah. New York City? Uh, maybe not New York City. Albany. Hey, hey, spicy jalapeno. Oh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ahmed. Uh, moving on. Oh, he's here. doing something in Vegas. That's close enough. We could send somebody. Oh, great. We can make a trip out of it. Yeah. Bro, that's not an East Coast thing. He knows his audience. His ass isn't entering California. There's way too many Mexicans <laughs> here for his ass. He get mobbed on the street talking mm-hmm. shit like that. <laughs> uh, according to Kylie, Waits and Fish Guy got indicted on a felony. According to TMZ. We got weights and fish. So that's pretty interesting. 
Next segment. Yes, thank you. All right, now it's time for Steve will jerk it. You guys ready for this adventure? Oh, that is correct. Indicted on multiple felonies, yeah. Pull it up. Let's just let's talk about that. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. go rip a dart. Weights and fish guy, he was caught cheating by brazenly putting a ton of weights in the fish. You he probably wouldn't have got caught if he wasn't so greedy. He put so much fucking weights in that bitch. And chi and fillets. Man's out of control. Scales of justice are coming down on weights on fish, boy. He's indicting on multiple felonies now, boy. Give him the fucking death penalty. <laughs> I don't believe in the death penalty, but for this, <laughs> the two men who yeah. seemingly won a fishing contest by stuffing their catch with weights death. just got nailed with multiple felonies. Jacob and Chase were just indicted for multiple grand theft and possessing criminal tools, both felonies. They've been charged with misdemeanors for unlawfully owning wild animals. What? Okay, now they're stretching it. These the men are being put to sentenced to death by hanging in December of this year. Woo wee! We gonna have a good old hanging, Barsh. We should take the weights he stuffed in the fish and tie it to his legs. Oh, throw in the fucking river. Wee! That sounds like a good old time. I really hate to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what would what does Logan Paul say <laughs> at, the, at the public execution of Jacob and Chase? I really hate to say this. I think there's someone hanging right there. Bingo. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, you like to catch fish? Then we're going to tie waste you and throw you in the ocean. That's how we do... Texas justice, boy. We got weights and fish. We kill them first and let God sort them out. Oh, wee. Hee hee. Until it gets hot right. in Texas. Let's talk about Steve will jerk it. This man fucks his dog. Let's just start by saying, well, not fuck. Well, jerks him off. For example, he has when sexual I jerk relations Donnie, with his dog. He makes him nuts. Yes. So. Yeah. Yeah. Steve has sexual relations with his dog. Let's just put that out there right from the I'm start. I'm facts, you know? Um, <laughs> so this whole interview is awesome. He goes on Bradley Martin's show, you know, who I've been trying to squash the beef with, because I'll be honest, Bradley Martin seems like a... Yeah, he, he actually well, so seems like a nice guy. And, you know, we, we disagreed on the COVID thing. Um, but but he, he seems actually like a sweet guy. We reached out to him and we never heard back. Never heard back. Oh, that's okay. He doesn't need to talk to us. I'd love to talk to you though, Brad. If you want to hook up, be homies. Yeah. Wait, some fish best. together, boy. Mm -hmm. I think you. I think you should try and mend the fence by um, going to his gym. Have him train you. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I don't know because he's so, in so tight with dudes like Steve. They might see that as a. I think that's what it is. He's his own man. He can make his own decisions. No, but come on. You know what it's like. The boys are tight. He can't be hanging out they with just, me. Yeah, they just made him the head of that podcast, too, now that the other dude is gone. Oh, yeah. he's on the he's on the Nelk podcast Yeah, he, he, he replaced... Uh, he replaced that guy they... Dry mouth. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dry mouth. wow. Okay, wow. Good for Bradley. I mean, that's a big opportunity for him. He's not going to fuck that up. Pump some iron with me. Get that. Um... But anyway, there's a lot to talk about here, but let's just cut, first of all, to what he said. First of all, here. Question, because a lot of people are asking, they're like, Steve, he's not, he's like, he doesn't have all the money anymore because, you know, you don't have the gambling stuff. Like, a lot of people talk about you, dude. They're like, they're, they're, they chirp, and I hear it, and I see it on the internet, and they, they're like, what's going on? Yeah, I, I have one answer. <laughs> To anyone, especially that, I don't want to say. Well, I, especially that one, dude. There's this guy H3 that is just. A, oh, he doesn't want to say my name. It's like that, huh? Yeah, you're like Voldemort. Well, I get that. I have people like that in my life where it's like you say their name, they they take it in. You give them a you give them an inch, they take a mile, right? Or five percent. They take you give them five percent, they want the whole pie. Yeah, but you know he's right. I guess if he didn't say my name, I wouldn't be having. Yeah, no, he's. <laughs> I mean, he's right. I'm gonna say it, hundred percent right. Yeah, there. he's definitely right. It's the title of the episode. He's in the thumbnail. Although, to be fair, they t they put your name in the episode of this as well. 
Yeah, I'm in the title. It okay, says so NH3 beef. Yeah, they started my it. Wife's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's totally me when I watch this. Um, yeah. Well, he loves talking about people. Bro, he loves talking about people, but like, <laughs> did he say anything about you that? <coughs> no, I didn't say anything about that. Oh, okay. Wait, he wait, said, about what? No, I do want to say it. What was he talking about? Ab, you watched this whole thing, right? I was looking up something. Wait, hold on. He says this guy H three. Just prior to this, I believe he was talking about about, um, uh, his sponsor deals that he lost because he got kicked off of YouTube and stuff. Oh, they were having a whole conversation about. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't care that it died. I'm not trying to get him to lose sponsors. I mean, I don't care about that. Those talk. Not trying to ruin his life. I just think he jerked off his dog, and it's funny. Funny You're, that he jerked off his dog. Am I not allowed to laugh about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, what Dan said. Bradley was telling him a lot of people are saying that. Yeah, basically you don't have any money coming in. This, 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 and he's like, Nah, I still got money coming in, and everybody good. still loves me. I'm, I'm good. Good man. I'm yeah, good. everybody loves him and according you, to him. Yeah, and you're just the face. <laughs> well, the of, Nelk boys, the Nelk community still loves him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Why? I'm the cool dad now. Well, we saw the comments on the episode where they denied him jerking off the dog. His own audience didn't really seem. To believe a word he was saying, <laughs> they're willing to look past the dog, the bestiality. Gotcha. He's, Steve will do it, man. He's an icon. Yeah. Talking about people polite. Did he say anything about you that? No, I didn't say anything about that. Oh, okay. He said he, he like truly believes that like I jerked off my dog, <laughs> and he pulls off like these young pictures of Donnie like back in the Fredonia house. Wait, <laughs> wait, I haven't even like, seen like this he did yet. deep. I didn't see it either. Selena saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, by the way, Bradley knows that shit's funny. <laughs> Bradley knows that shit's funny. And that's why his ass is laughing, Steve. But also, Come on now. Also, I love that he's pointing out the age of the dog. Like, it was weird because the dog was younger back then. <laughs> yeah, so what, are you a dog? what are He's you, a dog under, pedo? Yeah. The dog was, like, <laughs> yeah, the dog was under age then. I haven't jerked him off until he Yo. was oh. That's when he was dribbling. <laughs> not, yeah. like you, not only were you jerking off your dog, man, you were jerking off your dog before the age of consent. <laughs> right. Well, the dog's two now, and in dog years, it's like 14, so. Dude. Dude. Also, he went on his podcast and told a story as a joke. If it were a joke, you wanted people to talk about it because you thought it was funny. Yeah. But what's the ish? Right. That's Talk the about it. that's the whole thing. That's Look. the tell that it is real because <laughs> if he was just trolling, then it would be like, "Ha ha, I got you." But like yeah. now he's like upset about it. The thing that they sure. keep failing to acknowledge is that they go, "Oh, I can't believe it's such an idiot to believe that." Guys, we keep showing you, even your own fans, like 100 percent of the comments are like, "You were telling the truth." Why won't you guys acknowledge that every all the comments are saying that they agree with us, bro? Stop, <laughs> stop, you know, stop reflecting by saying, oh, I can't believe he believed that. It does, it, come on, bro, without acknowledging that all your fans believed it, too. Sorry, love, were you trying to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, your honor, the dog was of age. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it was of age because of doggy years, so. When, yeah. What is 18 in doggy years? Well, it would be like two and a half or something. It might be less than that. Yeah. Because they age faster in the beginning. Oh, so years. you think... It's not linear. Their dog age is like. I did not or, fuck my. Dog. Oh, well, do I need to break out the trigonometry oh, calculator? Like dog yeah. age calculator. Dog age calculator. Yeah. If he's upset about those old photos, wait till he sees the video we made for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he should have known where we were gonna go after. He well, I'm on. Yeah. I'm on. Wait, the... 18 and if a dog is 18 in human years, that's 88. Is my. Okay. Yeah, no, he's trying to find out the other first, way yeah. around. Say what, A.B.? Yeah, I know that's over it, but I'm saying <laughs> I don't know how to figure that out. Is there converters? 18 dog years, bro. Well, isn't it in seven? Is not how that works? With dogs? That's what I thought, but apparently yeah. it's far more complicated. You've no, been saying they, that they it, there's like a gradual drop-off. You need differential they calculus revive. to in figure this out. In the first three years, they age faster, and then it slows down. Interesting. Well, I'm like, a 12-year-old dog is not 88. You know what I mean? Like, a small dog that's 12-year-old is not... They still have a few years left, right? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's not exactly like they All thought. Right, French Bulldog. In human years, your dog would be 24. Oh. We're just trying to. They're see. actually saying two years would already be twenty-four. So Steve might be in the clear. We okay, might okay. we might have exonerated him. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that Steve wasn't also committing um, 
an act of child molestation on the dog. <laughs> Canine pedo pedophilia. Yeah, but, but he, it sounds like Canis he's clear. pedophilus. All right, Steve, go on. You're good. <laughs> you, you, you didn't uh, you didn't pedo your dog, but you did jerk <laughs> him off. <laughs> Oh Wait, my god. Hey, say what you will, but at least this is fair and accurate reporting. Jerk off Donnie? <laughs> It was like, wait, 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 like he's wait, such wait. a loser. Like, is this recent? Because I listen, I, it was kind of recent because of the podcast, but he's such a loser. Like, dude, like, so he, <laughs> he's such a loser. Yo, bro, hand me that handle of tequila. What time is it? 10 a.m.? <laughs> full, full I'm like 24 right years old and I look 40 and I'm, <laughs> my fucking and blood vessels are about to just burst at any moment <laughs> from the amount of fucking binge drinking I've been doing <laughs> all day. Bro, I know it's not it's uncommon to see someone with like that much alcohol damage at that young age. Yeah. But anyways, you asked a question about money. You're talking to someone that he's, Yeah, I'm curious. No, but you're talking to someone that's literally sold eight million dollars worth of shirts in thirty minutes. Two million dollars worth of fuck Bradley Martin shirts probably on that one too. But eight like uh, like yeah. ser- like realistic it's like where you're seeing millions go up like I remember that. I remember well, money's never. Were you talking about jerking off your dog, or did you? So he's reflected by saying he sold a bunch of shirts. I mean, what are you doing here, Sivo? My dude. A dart. Been an issue, but obviously, I've <laughs> our given chat a lot is of money, shocked but... that he's 24. Let me uh, verify that, but I'm pretty he's sure he's 24. He is 24. Pro- yeah, yeah I'm afraid that yeah, all everyone's like, People, what the fuck? He's yes. 24. Well, yeah. that's what happens when you live on a diet of meat and and vodka. <laughs> Just for reference. <laughs> He's six years younger than me, so if that yikes, dude, put it into perspective for you guys. <laughs> yikes, dude. Yeah, I mean the man acts like he he's talking like he's got brain damage from a life of alcohol abuse. I think he, <laughs> I think he genuinely might like the slurring that's going on when he talks. And or stuff. he's always on something. Pretty rough. Well, he did sell eight million in merch, so he's not doing too bad. Right, watch your <laughs> fucking <laughs> mouth, bitch. I yeah. sold eight million dollars of shirts. It's like money will never. Is and will never be an issue, but why do you why cool man? But why'd you jerk off your dog? <laughs> <laughs> do you think people? I mean, obviously, because I think even even in our last pod we did, you were talking about you know maybe you could have spent can less, etc. Oh, I could. Can sp- you pause it for a second? Left. Can you go back one frame? Sure. I just want to point out someone on Reddit uh, made a post saying, uh, "Hold on, what should get? yeah." As someone on Reddit said, "Are these guys even <laughs> wearing shorts?" <laughs> <laughs> They're so fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny, dude. <laughs> they just get absorbed just going into the high yeah. bulk. Bosom buddies. Um, yeah, but okay, so I'm going to jump around a little bit. <laughs> I want to get to the part where he talks about Hila. So then when I go back and react to the rest of this, then you'll know, you'll know why I'm being so hard on him. Yep. 14. Yeah, so... Better talk dude. and some jokes. Let's take a let's take a poll here. What do you think, Steve? Atta- the two things Steve hits on to get back at me, his mortal enemy, who's simply pointing out this hilarious story that he did as a comedian about scooping cum out of his dog's foreskin. What's funnier than that? I'm the cool dad now. He's the cool dad now, Brad. You go cow style. He he follows the same format as all these bait, all, all these alpha male brain dead himbos. He goes, your wife is ugly and you're fat. It's incredible. It's so crazy how they always do the same thing, isn't it? I think it's happened like five or six or seven times now. It's also after he goes on a rant about what a great role model he is and how you're not. And then he goes, oh, and also ugly wife. Yeah, there's a point. I'll Sir. go, <laughs> dude, this big, this picture says, are they even wearing pants? Bro, where's your fucking pants, dude? <laughs> oh, you that's forgot. funny. I forgot. <laughs> I just rolled like out of bed and walked in here. I don't know, man. So here it is. And again, this shit's wild, man. Here it is. So for the people who take everything fucking dead serious to their heart, like some just chill. It's like, yeah, I got jokes, um, mad jokes, H3, H3. I don't know. It's true. I don't he, He's going to take something out of this and be like, that guy sucks. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, bro, I got a lot more to say than that. <laughs> Is that what you think I do here? I just go, that dude sucks. Who cares? Yeah. But do you remember, I, the, the thing that I've realized about that guy is like... No, he doesn't work out, so I, I can't take his... Can't take it serious? Boom, there. <laughs> Wait, that. was that a jump cut? There was a jump cut, yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. I wonder what they cut out. Yeah. Maybe, see, maybe Bradley trying to keep the peace. No, Bradley keeps it very, very yeah. uh, cordial here. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, oh, oh. oh. All right, hold guys, the, we'll see you spot. tomorrow morning for Leftovers. Sam Temple, it's been the real. Is this, is this me? Hold that thought there, Steve. Oh, oh God. God. Let's talk. Sorry, love. No yeah, Taco Bell in Sweden, huh? This is gonna trigger them so no. bad. We're like here talking shit about how he's saying you're fat. And we're like, let's bust out the TB, baby. Keep going, baby. Yeah. So his first thing is, well, he doesn't exercise, so I can't take him seriously. Which is awesome. That's awesome that he actually says that. <laughs> is yeah, that a thing to, they believe? Thank you, Sam. To his credit, out of all the macho fucking idiots that have come at you, he's the first one, to my recollection, that just straight up said it. He is fat, and I'm not going to acknowledge him because of that. I'm not, I'm not going to take him serious because he's fat. Mm -hmm. Has anyone else actually just said it? I don't recall anyone else just saying... No. Not in a sentence. Nobody will come out and say that. It, it, it sounds so outrageous. Yeah. There's like Tate saying, like, oh, why don't you work out? I'm not going to take you serious. You're overweight and all this shit. But I don't think anyone's ever said, I'm not going to respond to you because you're or not take you serious because you're fat just saying i think we need to start asking in presidential debates if they if they work out and how much yeah how much can they bench mr president how much can you bench i mean this guy's a maga guy how much does trump bench like doing like have you seen her videos or she's trying to kind of do what I did in a way, like do really cool things and give back money and do all this. And that's a little more difficult than just posting what other girls would post. Stupid ass, effortless videos. Yeah, you know? I, I did this dumb ass cooking. Wait, where am I? Better talk. Here. And some joke. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, so here it is. Folks, for the people who take everything fucking dead serious to their heart, like some just chill it's like yeah i got jokes um mad jokes h3 h3 i don't know it's true i don't he, he's gonna take something out of this and be like that guy sucks yeah who cares yeah. But remember I, the, the thing that i've realized about that guy is like no he doesn't work out so i, I can't take his can't take it serious can't take his opinion serious damn someone that that's doesn't tough. work out and like talks down on working out can't really yeah. take him serious that's when i didn't take him serious i really never did that guys can we move on past that? Come on now. You were being ironic when you I said even, it. I wasn't even making fun. I wasn't saying don't work out. And why they take it so personally. You know? Yeah. When he related working out to laser tag, that's when I was like, man. I can't take him serious. <laughs> And then also the only interaction I ever had with him on the internet was because like someone told me that he was talking shit about me. And like in, in, where, in retrospect, when I think about all these things, I'm like, where along the lines did like I ever just talk shit about a random person? Oh, I would that never, I never just met. talk shit about someone. But but then again, that's their type of content. It's like picking apart. But like what, what you guys are, are saying, it's a business for him. Yeah. Like he doesn't have people that love love him for him being funny. I don't think, or him being. I'm sure. I'm sure some people. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Nobody loves you for being funny. What do they love me for? Nothing. Not like Steve. We love Steve for being an alcoholic. Well, sometimes, you know, he travels around with known rapists to hand out money in Brazil and- Wait, uh, who? What's his name? The the clown? Tekashi Six Nine. Oh yeah, that guy. He just went to Russia with him uh, last month. Good buddy. That a lovely time. Huh? Dude, he literally was doing Russian propaganda <laughs> <laughs> during the fucking war. Wow, what a role model. <laughs> <laughs> they paid him like $100,000, right, Ebby, to go it, to Russia? No, so I, I misread that part. No, so there was some other Russian dudes, while he was already in Russia with Six Nine, who offered him, uh, offered the both of them, like, uh, 95k to come hang out with them or whatever but yeah no they they were in dubai and then they went to russia because um 
he thought it'd be a good idea for his first video on Rumble to be visiting Russia during the war. And then he had a bunch of shit because the war and because of the, uh, the basketball player, uh, what's her name, that was uh, held there. Uh, Brittany... Uh, Garner? Garner. Garner. Yeah. Gainer? Gainer. Yeah. Garner or Gainer? <laughs> Whatever. People like him for I'm his sure, comedy. I, mean, you know? I don't know. Maybe it is funny, but like, to, to me, I know that a lot of young males liked me because I was a role model, young multimillionaire, doing crazy things on YouTube, hanging out with, you know, being best buds with Dana White. Bro, this is, I can't get over this. He goes, yo, I was a role model. I was best buds with Dana White. How's your achievement that you're friends with somebody? Not even that you are somebody, that you've achieved anything. You're so best. I don't beat my wife and children. <laughs> yeah. I know Dana White, so I'm a role model. Bitch, what the fuck? It's well, the reality is, I know Dana White. That, that is the reality, but he doesn't say that. He's best buds. No, he's not. They're really tight. Him and Dana. Yo, you gotta sit... They stay up talking on the phone every night before <laughs> bed. I'm just saying, Steve, you gotta set the bar higher for yourself. Being friends with somebody is not the pinnacle in life. But, like just doing crazy shit. Yeah, like, I was like a, money. I was like a role model because I'm so young and everything. I just personally don't see that. Like anyone thinks, oh, I want to be a 300 pound podcast host. I don't know. He's, ugly he's wife. small. He's shorter. I don't think he's 300 pounds. I, I, I want to be a 250 pound podcast host. I was right on. I was 250. That's true. Mm. And to be fair, he might be right. About people not wanting to be a 200 Well, just not wanting to be you, you know? Who wouldn't want to be me? I want to be you. You want to be him? Who doesn't I'm... want to be me? I don't want to be you. <laughs> I, I want to be, be me. You. I, like, I like you, so you have to be you. That's right. If, I was, if you were me, you'd be me. You'd be the same. Exactly. I couldn't enjoy you the same if I right. was you. No, it'd be the same. You'd be me. But I like... It wouldn't be different at all, because you'd be me. But I like True. you from a third party perspective here. I want to be me enjoying you. You can be you, you can enjoying be me. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to be you. <laughs> That's fine. I go to bed dead and wake with, up alive. With an ugly wife huh? and just talk shit. Okay, here, 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 here it is. Podcast host. I don't know if he's small. Wife. He's shorter. I don't think he's 300 pounds. I, I, I want to be a 250 pound podcast host <laughs> with. With an ugly wife and just talk shit about. Oh, he don't dog his, dog his wife. I'm gonna dog his wife. Don't dog his wife, bro. I'm gonna dog his wife, cause she's not pretty. By That's the way, I just this is his girlfriend. No hate to her, obviously. I'm not even gonna comment on her, but just look at her face as he like the the brutal chauvinism, misogyny comes out. She's super uh, thrilled by but. it. And That's fucked. But what I, I have an opinion. She's not pretty, like. Who asked? Up, like, again, I would rather have sex with Jeffrey Dahmer's than your wife. Well, <laughs> Yo, good thing Eli probably you wouldn't want to have sex with you no, ever. Who the fuck asked? Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer, though. Like, that opportunity, it's <laughs> never going to arise for you. It wasn't so you don't offered. even have to think about it. You know, it. between the two, I do think Jeffrey Dahmer would be more likely to sleep with him. So, uh, there's that. Oh, yeah. It's interesting that he says uh, he, he doesn't want to dog your wife. Uh, and it's interesting that he associates dog with sex. Mm. <laughs> mm. True. Why is that? Why is that? Well, first of all, I know you wouldn't want to dog my wife because you're into male dogs. You, I want to. You're like, he's dog. gay. He's gay with dogs. Mm. He's straight with people. As far as we know, we don't we don't know about the other. We have to keep possible by gay dogs. Yeah, we don't know. You know, sex sexuality is very fluid like that. You mm, can be gay with dogs and straight with people. So who is gay? <laughs> I love looking at his girlfriend's face. She's like, man, why am I with this freak? It's true, and that's going to argue him, but Jeffrey Dahmer's is way more attractive than your wife. That's fucked. Okay, that's fucked. That's it. Uh, every, uh, I can't even, I don't even know what days these podcasts will come. Not even a come smile. Come back every Tuesday, Raw Talk. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel um, if you're on. Yeah, so there is the ultimate, my, <laughs> out of He's nowhere. So too, like, you can tell. Out of absolutely nowhere, no one asked. I don't even think Ela was present when we were talking about him. That's uh, I think she was like the third time we brought up the video, but not the first <laughs> two or three. Good. 
there was even no need to go there, bro. <laughs> we have to end the podcast. No, That's for true. sure. That's Except to prove to us that everything you just said is wrong. Right. You are clearly not a role model because if we're going to reduce stuff down to people's looks and we're going to say that that's important you outwardly said that someone wasn't which is clearly non-role model behavior and also all of your credibility has been stripped because Ela is objectively hot that's the thing that's what this just always blows my I mean, mind he looks like fucking dog shit <laughs> Like, let's be fucking real. It's just such a he, crazy... Let's keep it real. Ugh. That's a great point, Just like Olivia. you said. You must work out. <laughs> oh, yeah, problem. It's just funny how they always make the same point, is that my wife is ugly, and, and I just find it so bizarre. Knock it over my wife! How do they, how do they come up and say the same thing? I mean, this needs to be studied. This needs to be like a sociology study into this. It's like... When their masculinity gets threatened, which I think is what's happening, they're insecure hmm. in their masculinity. It's like they they outwardly attack. Maybe that's their way of trying to attack my masculinity, is saying my wife's ugly. They're not used to dealing with someone like you. They're used to dealing with people who are like them, who are just, you know, very insecure and... They could go back and forth, but when they make fun of you and it doesn't bother you, they try to take the next slow blow, which is going at your wife. I mean, and yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother her at all. You know what I mean? Not at all. It's just funny. But Never it's, talk about my wife in it, this context. <laughs> it's just such a lose lose for them. I just find it so interesting. I mean, this is like the fifth time it's happened like this. Fat, your wife is ugly. Credit to Bradley for. Uh... Saying you shouldn't say yeah, that. Yeah, Bra Bradley's a sweetheart. That's what I've been trying to say for the whole time. You know, yeah. Bradley. Bradley. Um, he did leave it in, though, and left the bait in the title. But I'm I team Bradley on that. you got to bait the views. I mean, if you're going to give the first part of that conversation, thank you for giving the second. Mm -hmm. Also, because he stands up and leaves. This is a little mic drop moment. Yeah. They would have just, like, hard cut to, like, thanks for watching that. He's like, like, that's the end of the episode, so. Like... Also, what it says about him is that a man's significant other's physical beauty defines him. It's somehow an insult to him. So how attractive his girlfriend is says how successful or inherently good or something he is, right? Yeah, because in his framework... You know, that the girlfriend or the wife or whatever is, uh, that's, that's the trophy, you know? You won, you won that. Only, you know? only job Field is to Field of be dating pretty. battle. I don't want to, like, over-psychoanalyze, but a lot of times I feel like dudes like this who are really, like, big and juiced up, they weren't very popular when they were younger, and then they get juiced up and they get really big, and now they think they're, like, you know, the shit. And then whenever someone, you know, makes them feel like, uh, you know, when someone talks back to them, says anything to them, they're very insecure because they feel like they're the same loser they were before they got jacked. And uh, they take it personally. It, it really, really gets to them. His wife. I'm going to dog his wife. Don't dog his wife. Bro, I'm going to dog. I want to be again. a 250 pound be that, like, anyone thinks, oh, I want to be a 300 pound podcast host. I don't with know an he's, ugly he's wife. small. He's shorter. I don't think he's 300 pounds. I, I, I want to be a 250 pound podcast host <laughs> with with an ugly wife and just talk shit about oh, people. Oh, he don't dog his wife. I'm going to dog his wife. Don't dog his wife. Bro, I'm going to dog his wife because she's not pretty. That's fucked. I wonder if they're angry and at her well. in a way. But what? I, I have an opinion. I wonder if, he, I wonder if he's pretty. angry at her in a way because she like validates me. Like they want me to be single and unlovable so bad, right? Because I'm ugly. I'm fat. There's nothing redeem. They don't see anything redeeming in me. So the fact that I'm actually married to a beautiful woman and have kids and seem to be in a happy relationship drives them crazy. And they're mad at her. They're like, how could you do this to us? Yep. A yeah. beautiful woman who's with you before you were successful. Mm -hmm. Right. They, even, they can't even say that. Yeah. They can't even say she's a gold digger. <laughs> right. Which I'm sure they would. That would have been the next. Yeah. 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 So true. They're expressing their anger. Because they don't understand me. They don't understand how someone like me can exist. Don't you understand, bro? I'm just a fat fucking 
opinionated asshole. Mm. Masculinity is not even real, dude. Damn. I mean, it's just a social construct. I hope someday he becomes the role model he thinks he is. And he doesn't have to resort to insane unkindness when he tries to defend himself. Yep, for his audience on Rumble. Yeah, for could, his audience the, that uh, are clearly impressionable young men, I think maybe you should be teaching them something a little bit morally better. I think um, he's very young. He's 24. Yeah. Yeah. So he, I mean, by the time he's 30, maybe he'll have changed, but at the rate he's drinking alcohol, I think his IQ and facilities will be declining. I mean, the man drinks a lot. He needs an intervention. Yeah, it's worrisome. I remember he had the, uh, there was one point where he was talking about Stake, I believe, or one of the gambling websites he was working with, and he was like, he was just saying a lot of information that he regretted saying on stream. He was like, drunk or something. We talked about it during the content. Oh yeah, what did he say? He was talking about money and stuff? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look it up on my computer in a sec, but... <laughs> He's always drunk, man. What the hell was that? Steve, you gotta stop. You need a period of sobriety in there. Also, he's famous just because he drinks. That's how he became famous at start, I think. He, like, drunk a, a bunch of alcohol. It was like a <laughs> fast sugar. Wait, you're right. And by the way, his yeah. name is Steve Will Do It. So, like, that's your whole right. thing. I'll do anything, bro. Okay, cool. I'm just spitting facts, you know? So you're the guy that's willing to base himself for money or popularity. Okay, a.k.a. a role model. Got it. Pretty. Like, straight up, sh like... Again, I would rather have sex with Jeffrey Dahmer's than your wife. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer's, I just, plural. I, it's so interesting. He's actually angry here. And he think it's just so interesting. Oh, this way you where we have to end the podcast. No, that's it's true. Sure and that's going to argue him, but Jeffrey Dahmer's is way more attractive. Why does he say Dahmer's? Jeffrey Dahmer's? Why does he say Jeffrey Dahmer's? It's weird. Div, then your wife. That's fucked. Okay, that's fucked. That's it. Uh, every, uh, I can't even, I don't even know what days these yeah, so here's the thing, uh, Steve. <laughs> I'm a gentleman. And I would never go after your lovely girlfriend there, you know, who's obviously as disturbed by your misogynistic comments as we are. No, I wouldn't go after her, but I will go after your significant other, okay? I will. I got shit to say about that dog of yours, man. Your real lover. This is like kind of crazy I'm saying this, but one, for example, when I jerk off Donnie, I'm the cool dad now. I'm the favorite. For example, when I jerk off Donnie, two, you can control where the cum goes. When I jerk off Donnie, so you just go, you put on the glove. When I jerk off Donnie, or like you go cow style. J-R-H-N-B-R. <laughs> when I jerk off Donnie, when I jerk off Donnie, like I like cartoons, like, crazy, like family friendly and shit. Uh, and he's, I've been, uh, I've been just like jerking off Donnie. Jerking your dog off. Jerking your dog off. Jerking your dog off. I'm the cool dad now. Wait, 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 hold on, so. I'm the cool dad now. The thing is like, dude, I'm the cool dad, because imagine if you couldn't jerk off Donnie, Donnie, <laughs> Donnie, Donnie, Donnie. That's fucking, that's dope of you, bro. If I get to control where the cum goes. J-R-H-N-B-R. Donnie, 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 Donnie. I'm the cool dad, dude. That's fucking, that's dope of you, bro. When I jerk off Donnie, when I jerk off Donnie, jerk off Donnie. Wow. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a real love. It's a real romance they have. I mean, Shouldn't get in the way of that. You yeah. know, I know it's unconventional, but. Jerk off Donnie. <laughs> there it is, Steve. Uh, I'm much more of a gentleman than you'll ever be. Much more of a role model than you'll ever be. And actually, I have a whole bunch of timestamps throughout this interview of really funny stuff that I think is worth watching. Just to continue the Steve, <laughs> the Steve saga. So let's just watch some more. 
He he loves Jeffrey Dahmer. Let's take a look at this. A prank. You, okay, so clearly you've been watching this Jeffrey Dahmer. Bro, thing. he's badass. What 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 are people? What have, I don't know if he's badass. I mean, he did some really like <laughs> fucked up badass. things. It just they just turned it into a fucking like a like a TV show. Like so, it's like I like it. It's not it's not even like a documentary style. It's like a legit TV show. I'm wondering, does this influence people to like? I've been thinking about this honestly. Like a documentary is different, but when you make it like when you he's like, what did you say? <laughs> Documentary. He's trying to say documentary, Wait, but you know. Documentary. Documentary? Documentary. Where's he from? About Jeffrey Dahmer's. Is he not American? Oh. No, I think he just has. <laughs> Does he have an he has, uh, Or is he just dumb? <laughs> <laughs> Florida. <laughs> this is speaking He's idiot. Florida? He's speaking idiot right now. He's speaking Florida Floridian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is he dumb or does he have an accent? <laughs> Five. Star of a TV show, yeah. and now, and now the guy that plays Jeffrey Dahmer's is like, if I see why are you calling him Jeffrey Dahmer's, you fucking idiot? Jeffrey Dahmer's the documentarian. Well, he's keeping on with the plural, you know, bears, photos, Dahmer's. That dude was like, yo, can I have your autograph? <laughs> like, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, so I don't know if that like influences people. I mean, I don't know if it ever influenced people to, you know, drink a few beers and, you know. Dude, what is that? Like he, what oh, he, he crushes it and he does. It's called oh, doing the Brad. The Brad. <laughs> What's the Brad? What's the Brad? Putting powder in people's drinks. Okay, I see. You're but I don't get it. I don't know why he just doesn't. Yeah, I thought we were done with those kind of jokes, man. No, it's whatever. What that actually didn't cross my mind when I was watching that. I think he was like, "Yo, that's kind of a good idea. That's super easy to get done." Did that cross your mind when you're watching it? Like, I wonder if this is gonna make people get down with this. No. Nah. I didn't even think about yeah. it. No. Hey, uh, um, Steve, this one's for you. Batman bad, bitch. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the Jeffrey Dahmer's. Jeffrey Dahmer comes up quite a lot in this podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I can't help it. I'm, I'm like... If people yeah. are tweeting about this shit, dude. I honestly wonder, like, it, like I'm watching it and like I don't want Jeffrey to get caught. Like, there's yo, no, hold on, we just found something funny. You know how Jeffrey Dahmer took his victims out? He would crush sleeping pills mm -hmm. in their drinks. Look what we found on Nelk Store. Full, Full send sleep. Full send, baby. Full send oh, yeah, sleep. Dude. Yeah. Just never make sense. How is sleep? There's nothing full sending about sleep, by the way. Oh, no. Nah. If you want those, the discount code was uh, Cosby something, if I remember correctly. No fuck. It was like Bill Cosby, yeah. straight up. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. That's not really role model behavior. I don't know. It's just That's like... insane behavior. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what, what you could buy with code Jeffrey Dahmer. So it seems there are fans of anybody that crushes. Yeah, so if anybody is, is promoting uh, that, I feel like it would be this because it's directly linked to Bill Cosby, who people very widely know his, his oh. crimes. Yeah, it seems he he's, has a specific type of idol, people that crush mm -hmm. substances into drinks and then take advantage of their bodies. Yeah, he's just telling them, when you buy this, you know what to do. Donnie, mm -hmm. don't eat the dog food. Hmm. <laughs> Off Donnie. What a freak. By the way, if we made a supplement, which one should we make? Because there's so much money there. What should we make a supplement of? Turmeric turmeric powder? Turmeric. Ginseng. Ginseng. Mm. Mm. Would you guys buy a supplement for me? I'm trustworthy. Superfoods. <laughs> I mean I'll just buy it away. I'll just buy it from someone else and put our label on it. Sure. You should start selling liver pills. Just oh. go head to head with the king. Oh. Yep. Mm. How, how are you going to milk an oat? <laughs> <laughs> Moments. So fun. He's about to, I'm like, no, like, don't. <clears throat> like, this when, is... his, when his dad's going down to the closet and he's asking him to unlock the door and he's been, he's like, what's that smell? It's all dead people. He liked them all, but. He just like to eat people, apparently. Yeah, but anyways, it's like, I just don't want him to get caught. Like, I want him to, like, I want Jeffrey to be on top. And that's from. It not being a documentary, it's like a TV Bro, show. Bro, what? Yeah. You said documentary like five times. By the way, speaking of Jeffrey Dahmer, I was watching that, and I always love how 
during the court case, part of a defense for someone like Jeffrey Dahmer is like that he's insane, right? That's one of the defenses. And they go, we're going through the process of trying to prove he's insane. And I'm thinking the man ate people's hearts. Do we, do we need to debate if he was insane or not? I mean, I just like, the man is clearly insane. He would fuck people. You try to keep someone in a zombie state and <laughs> rape them for like weeks and then ate their heart. Can we? But we don't want him to get caught. Not when we're watching. No. Root he, for he's him. the original uh, full sunder. Yeah, yeah, that is true. But and I just. It's the like, hero's arc. And I'm just going to say it. He must have not paid attention because he gets caught in the first episode. So watch it again. Right. But, like, do we really need to debate if this person is insane? I'm sorry. You know. Ye ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we found heads in his uh, fridge. Okay, you're right. He's insane. You know what I mean? And bears and photographs. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. Like, did, you, did you ever watch Narcos and Pablo Escobar got killed? Don't care. Um, close all this. Let's see. Steve casually mentions how girls go out to eat with guys for good food. There was, you know, there's a point to where it's like everyone's hungry. It's like, how do you get food? Yeah, so what'd you do? I don't get it. We had to, we had to, uh, we <coughs> had to girl it as yeah. in. Oh, you know how God. girls like go to like dinner with guys to nice dinners just to eat for free and get nice free drinks. And Which is fucked, but yeah, that's. Steak. Yo, that's fucked, girl. Let's talk about these girls are fucked up. They just go out for nice drinks and shit. Why is, why is that fucked? How often does that happen to you guys? You know, like, so, people go out to dinner because they're hungry? <laughs> he's referencing he's in Russia. He was in Russia with 6 9 and they didn't have no money, um, no Russian money or whatever, so they needed to hang out with fans to get their food paid for. Oh, that's, that's woman behavior. Yeah. That's wow. That's female Beta behavior. Male. Beta. It's very common. So me and Danny, like, we got to be those chicks. Like, what are we gonna do? Like, we have like, we, we, you're hungry. I'm hungry. We both want vodka. We so, both want what? What'd you call it? Vodka. <laughs> we, both, <laughs> yeah, we both want vodka. Like... So at one point, we had to, we had to go to, you know, we went to dinner with fans to, to eat food. <laughs> so you were, you were, le you were. But you they were, were such nice guys. They were yeah. such nice What'd guys. What'd you do they for that dope. vodka? You're dead serious about this, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, a, I got two steaks. I got a bunch of pizza. Oh, I love that he went crazy on the fans' dime. <laughs> I got a lobster, two steaks, <laughs> vodka. Let's keep moving on. It gets better. Oh, should we send his girlfriend some Teddy Fresh, you think? Yeah, to like... Say sorry for your boyfriend. Maybe you can reach out Olivia you know what? from us. Yeah. You know, he's, he's a good boyfriend to her. At one point, he says she's like the baddest bitch on YouTube. These other bitches don't know what they're doing, but this bitch knows what she's doing. She knows how to make videos. This bitch. We love us The only thing. girl on YouTube who but knows how to do videos. Yep. Yeah, we'll get to that. What is this Wizza shit? So this is that. I believe this is the video we were referring to where uh, during that whole... Coffee Zilla expose on the was a scam and like the Lambo or the Ferrari giveaway. Um, he, no one knew if he was involved uh, to what degree, but he was just like drunk or something on the stream and just said so much like, "Oh, I found a way to make money. I found you know." But basically, uh, if he ever gets indicted, I'm sure this will be the first video used in court. <laughs> this is like a crypto scam. Yeah. Wizza shit. My two best friends own it, bro. And they've helped, they've helped me make <laughs> millions. He's drunk right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is what he said when he was drunk. That, yeah. I mean, guys, all my money is not from selling merch. I fucking have figured out other ways to make money. Today I just bought a fucking $200,000. <laughs> Scamming you guys. Badass. I can't, I don't do that right. from selling t-shirts, dude. It's actually impossible. Oh, weird, because he said I, otherwise and... He said he the made video we just watched in a day or something. Yeah, that sounds like real money to me. I don't know. Figured out like I've like I've gotten financial advice 
this and that for my two buddies. They've helped me out. <laughs> so it's like they own Wizza. So it's like. It's bringing down the whole operation. <laughs> <laughs> this is the names of the two dudes. They worked hard to get confidential. <laughs> It is an illegal enterprise, so we have to be careful what we say. We have to be careful. They Thankfully, they have mm -hmm. offshore accounts in Malta and Curacao <laughs> ah, you know. at these addresses. Yeah. He's going to go into court, and his argument's going to be, I was just making a joke. It's just a joke. Your Honor, I can't believe you were dumb enough to yeah, believe me. Yeah, you believed me. I fuck around like that all the time, yeah. man. To where I don't even want anything I... Alfonso has helped me a lot, you know, with some financial sh like making good That's financial one of the heads moves, of Wiza, money moves. I remember correctly. I'm forever grateful for right, him. Right, Alfonso. I'm going to gift him a Richard Mill. By the way, thank you to... Uh, Carolyn says the Bears from Illinois, Zachy. It's beer, cheese, and Packers over here. Bears, yeah. I said bears, <laughs> not bears, bears. Bears. There's a difference between the Chicago Bears, the Bears and Bears. Illinois. Yes. Uh, Noah says you, we should sell hairline restoration pills. I don't really take those, though. You know what I mean? It needs to be something that I take. Uh, sup pills. Gamer sup pills. Wait, me and Ela actually had a really good idea. Hmm. Don't say it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. Oh. <gasps> That's it. Actually, <laughs> say it. I want to know. No, I don't want to say it because it's actually an insanely good idea. I'll tell you guys off the air. All right. Uh, happy cool. Happy 21st to Taylor. Thank you for the good, dude. Woo! Did we get it? I'm 21. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> um, here's when it gets really good. Steve says... Uh, Steve says why his channel was erased. I was right. But I don't think there was... People I, kept saying, we don't know for sure that it was steak. I was right. did anything or even said anything to deserve deletion? Yeah, it sucks. No, it sucks because it's like you got deleted for... We'll just say it. We got deleted for having steak.com on my second channel. Keep in mind, my second channel got 100k views per video. I had steak.com in there but you're allowed to say you're allowed to say hey i'm playing on steak hey i'm on steak the best gambling website ever i'm on steak but if on the screen it shows you playing having not playing you're allowed to show on screen playing steak.com you just can't show steak.com you can't show the url but that was on my second channel like it sounds like he is really familiar with the rules like somebody explained it to him mm. which i'm sure youtube explained it to him many times before they banned his ass <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I got 100k views. Yeah. Dude, it's not about the amount of views you get, idiot fucktard. <laughs> Stop drinking, bro, and listen to what they're trying to tell you. The reason that YouTube doesn't allow gambling and stuff, I think they're so hard-ass, is because YouTube operates in so many jurisdictions, state by state, country by country. There's different laws, and they're all accessing the same content. It's unbelievably complicated. So... In some countries or states, it's super illegal for you to be gambling. So they can't, they got to be real strict with it. And you being like, oh, it's just on my second channel. Nobody cares. It's just so unfathomably dumb, bro. And you're super familiar with the rules. Obviously, they explain it to you. You fucking brain damaged bozo. What rules, you sons of What bitches? rules? And they deleted my main channel because of it, which is really whack because I had zero strikes. And they're not protecting anyone from gambling or anything when it's like their partners, when everyone, you name it, everybody and anyone with a following has a fucking betting partnership. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy rationalization. Everybody who's anyone has a betting partnership. That's not true, bud, actually. Uh, this one, it gets really interesting. He starts talking about his girlfriend's sex habits. Well, okay. And at one point she tells him to please stop. It's making her really uncomfortable. So then what, what do you look? What do you look at your tits? Like I got a little concerning. Or, oh, or your back. everything I love. Like, uh, hey, wait, Selena. Come on, Selena, right here. Come here. No, 
No, we were talking the, about the way this is introduced you. is so funny because he's just talking about how in high school he didn't learn anything that he's used in life whatsoever. Midway through talking, Bradley interrupts and sees his girlfriend's like, "Hey, come sit, come sit, come sit." And then he's like, "Oh yeah, by the way, she just uh, Steve's like she just bought a vibrator and she told me that she uses it while she's looking at herself." And then the story goes from I didn't learn anything from high school to my girlfriend uses a vibrator as she looks at herself. Hell of a transition. Invest my yeah, money. I didn't know what to do with my money. They don't teach you in high school. They don't you teach learn, you any of that you shit. You learn A squared plus B squared equals what? I don't know. You learn all this bullshit. <laughs> you I were so close, you dude. Any- you were so close. I mean, you obviously knew it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, yeah, you didn't need high school. I mean, it doesn't sound like you went to high school. The thing that I learned from high school that actually, like, benefited me in the real yeah. world. Oh, Slanis here. Hey, what up? Come on. No, we were talking about how, how I, how, oh, on GoPuff, you can order, like, sex toys. What? Yo, Selena, Selena, Selena. Okay. Come on, Selena, right here. Come <laughs> here. No, so we ordered her, I ordered her. No, who cares? No, we ordered a vibrator. She uses it, and she says she masturbates to herself. Explain. Yo, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Selena, Selena, please, 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 please. Hey, Bradley's getting way too excited about this, right? He's like, Selena, please, 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 yeah. please, please. Just keep watching. Tell me more. Selena, please, I'm begging please. you. So Explain funny. yourself. So she uses the vibrator. You look great. You look amazing. And she looks at pictures of herself. What are you talking about? I'm not flirting with you. Okay, here. Now you got a real podcast. Now, I'll say okay. it. Bradley seems okay, very so, nice. Yeah, he's a, he's, yeah, he's a gentleman. Especially if you're talking about your masturbation habits. Do anything to get, get more gentleman. details. Yeah. Wait. This is so funny how you always come in the pods with Steve. Um, no, no, you're chilling. You, you look fucking, you're crushing it, okay? You're doing YouTube now. It's amazing. We're proud of you. Um, so wait. Can you just imagine if I was like, your girlfriend's fucking ugly, bro. I'm just going to say it. Like, what kind of psycho shit is that? It's bananas, man. That's Steve will do it stuff. That's what he says. It's so. Bradley won't say it. No, Bradley's a gentleman. It's just so bananas to do that. Wait a second. Steve told me I do get the vibe that that um, Bradley wants to fuck her, <laughs> but whatever. Who knows? A story earlier in the in the in the house and before you were here, and I also drank like your green drink. I don't know, you bought me one, but for yourself. Anyways, long story short, Steve told me that um, you masturbate, which is dope. I think women, you know, it's like explore your sexuality, do all that stuff. It's really cool. Nah, there's nothing that's dope because guys all the time is like, yo, like. I was like, Bradley, you know women masturbate, right? He acts like it's like some new novel thing. Like, yo, like, bro, I, I was like. Oh my, I can't control my goo. <laughs> it's just so funny, man. These alpha male, these brosphere guys, they, they don't know anything about women. Sorry, short. Steve told me that um, you masturbate, which is dope. I think women, you know, it's like explore your sexuality, <laughs> do all that stuff. It's really cool. Nah, there's nothing that's dope. Because guys all the time, it's like, yo, like, you figure it out. It's like, have fun. Um, I just, I was like, do you think that, th- is this news to you that women masturbate? Okay. Um, but he said that you masturbate to p- pictures of yourself. This is too personal. And I, and is this it's true? Wait, hold on. So already out the gate, she's like, this is too personal. I'm not comfortable talking about it. Oh, no. what, like, show me what you masturbate to. Well, I- yeah, exactly. Right. You go. I stopped masturbating. I haven't masturbated for almost a year. Literally. And then Bradley reveals that he's a semen <laughs> retention guy. <laughs> uh, Got to retain that semen. Oh, oh, God. Keep those testosterone semen. levels up. Semen is just another type of mood. Like semen. Oh, I got, fuck, my TikTok's over. Let's see what happened. What do you guys think I got here today? No! I got live access suspended hateful behavior. Mm -hmm. Dude, every time. It's impressive. I thought they were going to report you for being fat. They would if that was an option. (laughs) All right, I appealed. Thanks for watching on TikTok, everybody. Looks like the stream lasted for... uh, I guess it doesn't say. Hateful behavior, though. Okay. Thanks. That's the game. Be nice if you guys actually got onto that, but... All right. Literally eight, eight, nine months. That's such cap. That's cap. No, I swear to God, I, on everything I love. No, but here's I the swear thing. To God. She told me that, and I said, okay, sweet. You're either a lesbian. Is this true? No, you're either like bisexual lesbian okay. or you're a psychopath. I don't know how that makes me bisexual or a lesbian. No, they, are you no, serious? No, hold no, on, hold on. Either she's so into I'm ch- guess I'm a psychopath. 
But it means she's like into chicks. That's or dope. she's a psychopath. And she's like, I'm not into chicks. Well, apparently both of those are dope nowadays because Netflix, you get a. I'm so. This conversation's so wild. Uh. What, what do you think about masturbating to your picture of yourself, though? Just just besides her, I've never heard of such a thing. I mean, no judgment. I think judgment. it's kind of a slay, honestly. Like, <laughs> self-love, hell yeah. If you do it for you, straight up. Uh, I think of American Psycho when he's, like, having sex with that girl and, like, looking at himself in the mirror while he's doing it. Yeah. That's, that's what I think of. But, okay, whatever. You know, God bless. Uh, get, get after it. And that's about it. Um, let's see. Oh. Steve asks, uh, he asks if his girlfriend looks at her tits when she masturbates. <laughs> well, okay, so then what, what do you look? What do you look at your tits or your face or like what? You... Like both. Damn, I feel like that's like crazy self confidence. That's dope. <laughs> it's, it's that's fucking good. Isn't that a good thing? It's self confidence. It's a little like American psycho, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little American I... psycho. You ever seen that where he's fucking the girl and he like he's flexing in the mirror? Yeah, we just oh my watched God, that. It's exactly like that. <laughs> it's just he's like, like fucking her and he's like he's like this. <laughs> and he it looks is at himself in the mirror. Shit. You know exactly what we're talking about. Fucking Jacob talks about American psycho all the time. So if you had yourself, if there's a clone, would you just get it down with yourself? I don't know. That's what do you a good mean? Question. You're masturbating to yourself, so you would, right? Or at least you'd lick your own titties. Oh, you lick your own titties, and you go like this. I could do that. I don't you know. You could definitely do no, that. No, but do you do that you while you're? She, that. she starts to get super uncomfortable. While, yeah. I mean, you might as well, like, you're looking at those tits, and you might as well be like, they're in front of me. Let's lick them, or no? I don't know. This is uncomfortable. Dude, this. <laughs> oh shit! This is wild, bro. Yeah, and then um. He continues now. He he's made her feel bad, uh, she's right? She's gonna really try to get so the YouTube. So now he's gonna compliment her by saying, "His girl is better than all the other bitches and whores on YouTube, or something like I that." I signed it, and then the day I signed, like the next day, we go to Russia and everything, which is great content. We filmed a lot of content, but now uh, she's gonna really try to get the YouTube unlocked because I think yeah. there's like mad potential. I do too. Because she's not some, she ain't just some dumb bitch on YouTube. She actually like sh seriously like glows or like she's like special on YouTube. Like the way she does it, I think because she was watching the best person and being with him, <laughs> right? <laughs> I think you so learned too. a lot. No, it, like to how be to fair. how to film, how to be on camera. Like yeah, to be fair, this I is have, something. I like, the best mentor. Yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people don't fully. I mean, you wouldn't understand like being around. People I think this is all just a ploy so he could stay on YouTube. By being in her videos. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. And YouTube and like kind of understanding like the, but like she, the energy and the mannerisms and all that. Exactly. Like you, there's like <laughs> bitches that I've seen. Because you've been dude. around the whole time. Yeah, like I'm just like a fly on the wall and I see how everything happens but, for the past like three years. But there's yeah. girls I've seen like with millions of followers or however many followers. They try to make a YouTube and I watch it. And it's like I would rather be a guy going on a date with Jeffrey Dahmer. In, yeah. in the 70s? In the 70s. Yeah, I don't know why he's got to put down every other woman creator. Full he's just a little fucking Please, piece I of mean, shit, dude. I don't know what to say. I'm on episode five. I don't know if okay. you That's it. I'm, I'm out. Thank you. That is Steve Will Do It. Uh, putting himself in the bracket with all the other meatheads who have called me fat and Hila Ugly. So one for the one for the books there yeah. in that Hall of Fame. I'm you know? calling it now. I'm going to run into him in person. You I, think so? Where? I, I definitely know. I, I know I'm going to take the sins for the show one day. Do you think he recognized you? Yeah. You think he beat your ass? Uh, I potentially jumped you? my ass. You think so? I ran into Rice Gum over the weekend. He had about 20 dudes with him. And he definitely recognized me 110%. Wait. Rice Gum has an entourage still? He had a squad. Well, he's with like some of the FaZe guys, like FaZe Rug. Okay, okay. Yeah. AB uh, told me uh, when he was watching, he's like, dude, I could totally take Bradley in a fight, man. I'd knock his <laughs> ass out, man. Yeah, he was talking mad shit off the air. Yeah. Wait, uh, AB. AB, he's like, About I who? can knock out Bradley. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like Bradley? Yeah, he's like, I beat the, the wood. shit out of him, Bradley dude. Bradley would tear your arms off your body. Bradley like, would use me like a toothpick. Yeah. He, he, yeah. AB kept calling him like a bitch. He's like, this guy's going down, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually so not worried. Bugged. I'm actually, I'll joke aside, I'm not worried about Bradley. I mean, yeah, he could clearly beat my ass, but I mean, he seems like he has some reason. I'm more worried that like Steve will do it. It's going to be in Miami or something. Or I feel like we're going to cross paths at some point. Steve will There's actually you. Event, one event that I think we may both be at. Well, 
That's why I never leave my house, boy. Yeah. Dangerous out there. Yeah. Just to make sure Lena records. Yeah. Lena, are you here? No. <laughs> Cut to the empty chair. Real funny, huh? Let's up. We got to make sure that she always ready to record. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. For, if you're going to get your ass beat, we better at least get some content out of it. Yeah. Of course, Steve went on Dave Rubin's podcast of all fucking things to complain and, about know, being... Got, you know, canceled. Complain cool. about being quote-unquote canceled for streaming gambling. Dave Rubin, you're such a loser. What the fuck or is this? Whatever reason. <laughs> like Dave's, uh, do, do you know... Like Dave's oh, wine you glass with water in it. Very classy. I mean, it's basically because you talk to a certain guy, right? It's a, you no, talk I, to I a, I an orange guy. I couldn't tell you. Oh, he goes, he goes, it's because you talk to Trump. Yep. Bitch, it's because he, he, he was gambling. Why I got, yeah, yeah. That is a big thing. I talked to an orange guy. Yeah. Bro, you are, you're on Rumble, the conservative sphere, playing up that you got banned for talking about Trump. Meanwhile, you're on Bradley talking about you got banned for, for steak. You're a phony bitch. And Ruben, you're such a phony bitch, dude. He really oh. loves things named Donnie, doesn't he? Yes. What? Did What? <laughs> what else is Donnie besides his dog? Trump. Trump. Oh, Donald, yeah. There you go. Good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> I gave an orange guy a, a nice watch. Yeah. But to me, I really don't... Hey, dude, what the fuck is with that hat, bro? I think you need to size down. You ever seen a hat sit on someone's head like that? <laughs> <laughs> looks like a hard hat. <laughs> what kind of hats they passing out over there at Rumble, man? It's high quality, dude. Mm -hmm. What on God's name is going on here? I really don't know why I got canceled because I got canceled for a, a URL uh, to a website, mm -hmm. the dot com, and that website you're allowed to <laughs> openly promote on YouTube, show your playing, show your URL. That I don't know why I got canceled. I'm just gonna say specifically why. Yeah, I got exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's because that is either for talking to Trump or specifically linking to a banned website that I was explicitly told just, never to do. <laughs> URL, There's some numbers and some letters in there. It was just random just shit. Just words. Yeah. URL. Just yeah. pixels on a screen, man. The URL can't lead you anywhere bad. Bro, all I got it banned for was like electrons and protons bouncing around at the end of the day. Some zeros and ones. <laughs> you know how electrons and quarks, they zap in and out of existence. So it's just like basically no reason at all. Yeah. Website on YouTube, so I really don't <laughs> understand the 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 true reason behind it. Yeah. Getting canceled for a website that's allowed on the platform. They just don't allow .com. So it's uh, it's very mind-blowing. <laughs> yeah. Considering I've never even showed the website on my main channel. Yeah, so Steve, now that he's been banned on YouTube, is going over to Rumble. This website is such a shit show. <laughs> he's doing some exclusive deal with them. Ruben's on there. I was on there today. There, did you know Rumble is public? That blew my mind. They're public. They're down 13% today. <laughs> That's a tough day for Rumble. Uh, Damn. Friend Rough and show. tumble. Andrew Tate's on there, supposedly. How how do you cool. go? Must be crushing no! it. Don't you need to have some company? Like this shit just started last year. They just be letting anyone go public these days. Um, well, regardless, let's check out Rumble. So this is basically Nazis and pedophiles, right? That's what always happens when you when the right gets their own website? Yeah, because that's what they are. So let's see. Uh, Ron DeSantis is crushing it here. Um, there's your pedophile box? Yep. Oh, there's is that a, <laughs> a dog jerking video? In the Wait, don't tell me this is pro-Russia propaganda. This is insane and can push Putin into World War III. This is one of the more perplexing right-wing things I'm noticing is that they're simping for Russia. What do you think about that, Dan? Um, well, Putin's government is a very right-wing government. They ideologically have a lot more in common with them than until recently they probably were willing to admit. And yeah, I mean, frankly, I think that the uh, Democrats didn't do themselves any favors by harping on all of the Russiagate stuff with 
Trump for several years, which really amounted to nothing. And uh, I don't know, kind of pushed them into being more like, well, what's wrong with Russia? You know, they naturally took that position because just of the accusations Pompeii. that were constantly flying around about Trump's ties to them and That's everything. Awesome. Yo, we're fans of war crimes, bro. Bomb those public out. Bomb those public playgrounds and hospitals in Ukraine. <laughs> By the way, is this something you would expect on a publicly traded website? Live stream replays being prepared. Motherfucker, I just clicked the video on your homepage. I appreciate that they're preparing. They're doing their <laughs> due diligence. Also, also, they went public a year ago, and the flare at the top is breaking. Rumble is now public and listed on NASDAQ. Yeah, I looked it up. You know how they actually got on there quickly is they did the move that uh, Ryan Kavanaugh tried to do with Triller, right. where they bought an existing company, like a penny stock, right. and then... Merge with them, so right. the reverse merger. Yeah, drive angry. They're basically begging their the people on here to buy stock so it doesn't fucking go out of business. So congratulations on Steve will do it exclusive deal with Rumble. Yes, sports, exercise, and Nazis and pedophiles. Mm-hmm. Oh, and don't forget Lo-Fi Hip Hop Radio. Got to have that too. Super good. There's Love. a bit of Hitler in everyone. There sure is. There, are Jordan Peterson. Um. Oh, there's a little bit here. Dave gets uncomfortable. Yeah, pretty sweet. It's nice to just with uh, Steve saying fuck. Apparently, be able to upload a video and be proud about it and go to bed and just know it's not getting deleted. Because I would always go to bed on when it comes to Instagram and yeah. YouTube and just be like. Fuck, like, you don't know, right? You just don't know if it's gonna And you're not gonna anything. censor this guy no matter, no matter how many F-bombs he drops on the Rubin Report. <laughs> well, you know, the difference between Chris... You definitely <laughs> set my show record for F-bombs. Oh, I love saying yeah. fuck, but fuck's <laughs> part of my fucking vocab... Re Ruben, you're such a fucking bitch square loser. <laughs> Are you seriously complaining about F-bombs, you whiny bitch? God. He's so despicable, man. Listen to how many he drops after this. I'd be like, the, the difference between <laughs> fucking buddy. Chris and fucking YouTube is yeah. that he'll give me a call and be like, yeah. hey, Steve, what you're doing is fucking wrong. Like, you got to change it up. And YouTube <laughs> never gave me a call or let me know. They called me the day of deletion, and it was a girl. And they called me, and it was a woman. And they said, I know. <laughs> and they said, a bitch. They, they couldn't even down. send a man to call me. I was getting deleted, and huh. I was like the. the and I same. asked her, "Do you lick your titty when you masturbate?" <laughs> <laughs> and she told me it was making her uncomfortable. You believe this bitch? This fucking this whore. <laughs> Do you lick your titty when you masturbate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy. Oh. Yeah, she seemed happy, and I was like, I was with me and my editor, and we're like, we're like, bro, like she's happy. That's pretty yeah. much like, it. Like she like. That's funny. Yeah. Two great minds, huh? Mm -hmm. Incredible things happen. There it is. Steve will doink it. The man actually jerked off his dog, ladies and gentlemen. I think it happened. I mean, let me put it this way. If you sued me for defamation, definitely wouldn't work. You know what I mean? The judge would be like, well, he's reasonably concluded that uh, you do jerk off your dog. <laughs> Thank you, Neuropic. Well, when I jerk off Donnie... Episode for the Donut. So next up, we've got um, that's a uh, it's two thousand Mexican pesos, which is about a hundred bucks, by the way. Oh, so that's thank actually you a pretty so big much. donation. The pesos are rolling in, it's ladies and gentlemen. Amazing. Two thousand pesos. I love Mexico. It's such a shame what's going on there with the cartels and stuff. It's such a beautiful, fucking amazing. The culture, the food, the people, uh, just the, the land itself. One of the most beautiful countries on earth to visit. And it just, it sucks that it's become so dangerous from these fucking cartels, man. I almost ended up there on Friday by accident. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> you guys, you didn't realize that Tijuana was Lena right didn't know Tijuana Diego. was in Mexico. And so I was driving, we went to TwitchCon and our hotel, we... They charged my account and everything. When we got there, like, oh, sorry, we sold out. They refunded me, but we didn't have a place to stay, so we're looking forever for a place. And I was just driving, and Lena's like, oh, I found a place. She put it in the GPS, fell asleep, and then I'm looking at the the sign right above me, and it says, uh, 
to Mexico or whatever. <laughs> like I was right at the border and I had to like swerve and get out of the lane. But yeah, I almost ended up in Mexico. Shout out. Tijuana's pretty wild. You guys would have had fun there though. It's crazy there. Yeah. I had a lot of like camera gear with me and stuff. I don't know. I think it's kind of dangerous in Tijuana these days. I've, I've actually never been to Tijuana. Mm-hmm. But I know like a lot of people from San Diego go down there on the weekends and stuff. With my name and all the wires and equipment I had with me, I feel like they would have not let me in or detained me. They probably they would probably just give you a little extra search. Yeah. You mean the Americans? Yeah. Because the, the Mexicans are the one that check you on the way in. Oh, okay. But right. the Americans check might not have been able to get back. Out yeah. the, <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the hard part. <laughs> you might not get back into your own country of birth. <laughs> you damn Arab. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh man. Yeah. I used to go to Mexico. That was my go-to vacation. Yeah, people are saying Tijuana is dangerous right now. If I, I every time we wanted a vacation, man, it was Mexico. Every time, I'm telling you, it's so beautiful. People are so sweet, so nice. And um, the last time I went there, I got shook down at the airport. I think I've told this story yeah, before. Yeah. But it's just it just left such a sour taste in my mouth, and it's just too much corruption there at the governmental level that I'm. I just hope that they've. I had no idea it was there. that close to us, the border. <laughs> yeah, right yeah. There yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, did you guys like go there to like party when you were younger, like in your college years? Well, I was not close to Mexico where I went to college. Okay. It's kind of far unless you go earn like UC San Diego, but a lot of college students do do that who are who live in like near the border, mm-hmm. go to Tijuana for the yeah. weekend. Because you can, because Tijuana is crazy, man. You can get down with anything there. Like, you can buy over the counter drugs. You can drink underage. There's like tons of prostitutes there. Apparently, you can watch a donkey fuck a person there. I don't know if that's true or not, but the donkey show. Mm -hmm. Can you jerk off a dog? I should have just kept going. You can jerk off, you can even jerk off a dog there, Donnie. Damn. Yeah, Yeah, in Michigan. Usually people go to uh, Canada because the drinking age there is 19. So mm. when it turns 19, they usually go to Canada for the day or weekend. Yeah, but the, God, Mexican food, it's so good. I'm not even talking about Mexican food. Mexicans just know how to cook, bro. True. Any kind of food there. Italian, steaks, American food, anything. So fucking good. Well, any good restaurant food you're getting here in Los Angeles is technically Mexican food as well. <laughs> right, it's true. Do they have Taco Bell? I don't think they have Taco Bell. They don't, but... Well, maybe they do. You, well, they don't, don't have know. Taco Bell, but what you do see is like little uh, ab- abuelas everywhere making mm-hmm. their own home-cooked taco stands on the street that just slap so hard. And I tell you, man, the spicy there is fucking crazy. My parents lived there for a while. There was a little taco stand that was open 24-7. So when we were drinking, we go to this taco stand, and they put a little bit of hot sauce on there. They go, "Do you want hot sauce?" Yeah. It, bro, and you've seen I'm good with spicy. I eat the spicy chip. I've done the hot ones and all that. It fucked me up, dude. Mm. Just a little dash of this shit. God damn, those dudes do spicy down there. Shit. Yeah, I'm good on that. Yeah, love to our Mexican neighbors. <laughs> love them. Good people, man. Beautiful country. Beautiful. TwitchCon. This is great. Uh, you were at TwitchCon, AB. Yeah. That's why you went to almost went to Mexico. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun. That's nice. It was really cool. It was really nice meeting a lot of you guys. You guys were all so sweet. A lot of the H3 fans. Yeah, great H3 meeting. fans are the best. They really are. They are. You forget how, at least for me, like you forget how big the show is because you know we're just talking to cameras and... You know, we're seeing the chat, but to see all these people in person, like, we got stopped nonstop. Really? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I love the Fooper Troopers, man. They're the best. Uh, But TwitchCon, uh, there was a lot of great moments, great questionable. Someone, uh, this streamer, Adriana Chichek, she's a... Chechik. Chechik. You're quick to uh, correct me there, Zach. (laughs) You a fan of her work? No idea what you're talking about. I just, I I did the write-up. Yeah, she's an adult uh, actress and a Twitch streamer. I think she's really quite famous in the uh, adult. Can you send me a picture of her face, yeah. just like say for work, <laughs> of her licking her titty? Yeah, I got you. 
Um, I think she's actually really popular in the adult entertainment world. Uh, maybe you guys will recognize her. But she broke her fucking back, y'all. Actually, a lot of people got injured in this ball pit. Did you go in the ball pit, A.B.? We were so close to going in it. I'm glad we didn't. Me and Liam well, have done oh. one of those before, and I thought it was funny to like sweep her leg like uh, Cobra Kai. And I probably would have done the same joke because I don't got any new material. And I probably would have fucked Lena up by accident. I'd love to get a first-hand account of how like unsafe it is. But yeah, this is her. She's a Twitch streamer and a performer. I don't know if she's still actively performing. I think she is on OnlyFans. But she broke her back in two places um, from Twitch. Uh, look what she shit. Oh, my God. Right there. Sense of her own. Oh. No, no, she's fine. No, no, she's fine. Bro, why are you putting your shit over the video? What the fuck? Is there a way to turn these off? I think there is. Nope. Annotations or whatever? Oh, wait, no, those aren't that. Those are the end ones. Yeah, so I, I don't think you there. can turn off the end card thing. There's a backup link, a Twitter link right under that. That's easier. Yeah, thank you. I'll open that one. I think I heard Hassan say this morning on his stream that he got whiplash um, from the pit. From getting smacked, not from the ball, the pit part, but from getting smacked in the face. Hassan got whiplash. Yeah, I think he said that on his stream this morning. <laughs> <laughs> this pit, it was uh, it's responsible cursed. for so much damage. Yeah. Don't go in the pit; it's cursed. Now she lives in the pit. Now I kind of think. Just making jokes. <laughs> so one more time, here it is. She's celebrating. And boom! How could that even happen? It must shoot. It's like hitting solid ground. Yeah, so uh, apparently that pit is uh, like one foam block deep. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I got a feeling the next day it was not deep. And I'm pretty sure it's just a concrete floor directly <laughs> underneath that. So I don't think the foam blocks are really doing a lot. So what's interesting about this is you have to sign a waiver to get in the foam pit, yeah. which is kind of hilarious right off the bat. Yeah. Like, can you imagine if Chuck E. Cheese made parents sign waivers to get, let their kids in the ball pit? <laughs> bit insecure from the top. And so people are saying, can she sue? Oh, yeah. Because she signed a waiver. And the answer, of course, is yes, because waivers don't protect you from negligence. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. If they were negligent in their responsibility to offer fair protection, then you can't consent yeah to participate in that right because you're assuming that this thing is safe so right you're, you're waiving your right to sue if like a freak accident happens but it's not really a freak accident if you have like it's a two inch ball. two inches of yeah. foam yeah. over concrete and telling people to jump into this it this back break is brought to you by wendy's <laughs> take so a break I, this is have wendy's this is another pit this is a smaller one this one looks thicker eh it, it was a lot smaller. Yeah, it looked thicker, like deeper. But if I was to break my back, I definitely would want to. This one do it does in the not Wendy's look one. thick at all. Yeah, you can tell. Like, that's just the floor right and there. Go yeah. Deeper. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. If they, if you get like on a really shallow one, you're just gonna hit the floor. Totally. Which I think is exactly what happened. Wow, that sucks. She tweeted out, "Well, I broke my back in two places, and I'm getting surgery to put a metered rod in for support today." Send your support when it rains and pours, and I'm definitely feeling the rain right now. Last night was horrible. The pain I had, I felt like I'd rather die. This is going to suck. Special shout out to the random off work EMT who got the workers at the booth to realize how bad I was injured and to make them keep me still and calm me down until others got there. Oh, that's very fortunate. Oh, there was an update I thought it was supposed to be added. Let me describe it real quick. Um. Yes, please, the update. Someone else dislocated her knee also in the ball pit. TwitchCon be popping, dude. Yeah, popping, knees popping and backs popping. Oh, no. Yeah, give me that update, uh, maybe before I move on here. Yep, it's right there. I just sent it. 
Yeah, she tweeted this out, I think, this morning or last night. So surgery went well. She says, five and a half hours, more fusions than expected, bones completely crushed, and nerve damage to my bladder. Oh, my God. Hopefully I'll be able horrible. to pee again you, in the near future. No more squirting, probably. Oh, no, the biggest trash. <laughs> God, why, God? Oh, that's... Why? I mean, she seems, at least on Twitter, I mean, who knows, but she seems in good spirits. Baby sad. Everything I, about it, so that's good. She has a couple more tweets that she just added, if you go back. No more squirting, probably. Had some bleeding around the bone, but overall doing good, she said. I mean, that's a loss of uh, work capacity if she can't squirt anymore. Let's be real. I mean, unironically, like, you know, if... Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the jury... I mean, can no longer squirt. It, it, I know you're joking, but even beyond the squirting, just, I mean, being a porn star, that's that's definitionally a, that's a physical job that she probably cannot do the same way. Uh, what the fuck? Now. Why are people like Their this? livelihood. She just tweeted out 18 hours ago, hey, OnlyFans members, my account was hacked today. She can oh. catch a break. Yeah, serious. Why are you, why are people like this? Also, be very careful scrolling. Don't scroll true, any further. True, true. If you are on true. a porn star's yeah, Twitter those, account. Those top, <coughs> those top two tweets under the one you read already. Yeah, so just be careful. Anyway, uh, thoughts and prayers to this poor victim, squirtless victim of the <laughs> ball pit. It's a shame and a tragedy. This girl broke her ankle in this clip. Twitch, you fucking suck. Not only are you incompetent to run a business, you can't even run a damn ball pit. Christ's sake. Yo, both of them got injured dismounting. That's so fucked up. She literally just hopped down and broke her ankle. Look at this. No, I mean this is. Those blocks need to be much softer. That more. Has, yeah. And, and not more. yeah, and deeper. Like th this is. Yeah. It used to be like waist deep to work. It's like they're. It's it's like a pit of rocks, deeper. pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. You, you also need like a big uh, soft thing underneath because if you've been yeah. like at a uh, yeah. like a jumping park, like you'll fly through like right. however much there is. You're yeah, that's true. The in the in the ball pits at when we were kids, yeah. it was always like some sort of canvas like bouncy thing at the exactly. bottom. Yeah. Man, I love her face. She's like, did I really just break my fucking ankle? Like yes, motherfucker. I Who just planned broke my this. Ankle. Wow. Like this is such a blatantly obvious thing that's gonna go wrong. Like how nobody in the planning of this looked at this and like the same day. It's three Some inches of foam. Broke her back there, the same spot, and then this girl fucking dislocated her knee and sprained her ankle. Let's go. Shout wow. out the Levo Le Lenovo Legion booth. Lenovo, Lenovo moment, L. Love that for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone else broke their ankle, not from the foam pit, unfortunately. But, uh, well, that's no fun. If it's not from the, from the ball pit, then I don't care. Then I don't want to hear about it. No, not at all. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it was weird for me because I was loving it. I was having the time of my life, but every time I'd open my phone, some other shit was popping up about how TwitchCon was the worst thing ever. <laughs> I was I was loving it. We made partner right before uh, on Twitch, so me and Lena went, and uh, it's like a dream come true. Wait, you have to be a partner to go? Um, you don't have to be a partner, but if you uh, you are a partner, you get some benefits, like going to this uh, concert that had like Megan The Stallion. There's a few other benefits to being a partner, but okay, yeah, it was cool. Did you guys go to the concert? We did. Yeah, we did. There was a Master Chief in, this, in the uh, crowd who went on stage with Megan Thee Stallion and started twerking. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great. Love that. <laughs> My favorite moment, however, from TwitchCon was not the ball pit, although that was good. 
there was an after party by this dude named Heel Mike. Heel Mike is a guy who has 7.4 million followers on Twitch, which makes no fucking sense to me because... I know that that is insanely high number. Uh, 7.4 million, that's put you in like top 10 Twitch channels, right, uh, Love? Yeah, you definitely, are. and I have no clue who this guy is. <laughs> never seen him. And um, I went to his YouTube channel, he gets like 10,000 views per video. So I don't really know where these subscribers come from, but he had an after party. And a fan of his showed up. I guess if you donated 250 subs, you could come to the party. 25 subs. Oh, 50 subs. It was, I think it was 50, 50 subs. subs. And what happened was... So if like, you donated 50 subs, you could come to his exclusive party. One of his fans showed up. He had only donated 25 subs. And they kicked him out brutally uh, for not for lying about not donating more subs. By the way, shout out to Foam Savings for the gifted. For the gifted, is that our Saudi benefactor? Wow, well, thank you, bro. The legendary. So let's watch this video that went viral. This guy is such a piece of shit. Holy fuck. Out of my house. Get out of my house. Go. You're out of my house, bro. Get out of here. Take it. How many was it? 15? 25. Get out of my house. Uh, he said he gives it 50 sauce, but it was just 25. Wow. Oh, wait. Look, he goes, he goes, bro, you sent a payment of 237 Canadian dollars. So does that mean he did 50 gifted though, love? Doesn't that mean he did it? Mm, I mean, I guess. I, I want to... Someone's... I heard this clip was taken a little bit out of context. So I'm not super yeah, sure. Yeah, the, there's context underneath. What had happened was um, there were just a bunch of uninvited people at the party, apparently, and this clip went viral from the stream. But they're saying they were just telling people to leave. And one kid was like, can I please stay? I just donated uh, 50 yeah. subs. And it turned out that it wasn't 50. After he had said, yes, you can stay. He was like, you didn't donate 50. You got to go. No, but listen to what the girl says here. Yeah. Uh, he said he gets 50 subs, but it was just 25. Wow, fake ass. It's a, I don't know. I think they're playing around. I don't think they're serious. Really? Yeah. He's looking at his phone. He's seeing how much money he donated, and he's kicking him out. Yeah, no, this, I mean, he did get clowned on hard for uh, this, for kicking him out. Regardless, honesty is very important to me. Dude, the guy gave you 240 bucks, don't know, as a fan. I mean, what in God's green fucking earth do you want from him? Did. He get did. He get did. Excuse. Don't leave, bro. Just lay down, make him remove you by force. Fuck it, it's your birthright to be at that party. Bro, look how much fun everyone's having. Why do you wanna why do you wanna stay there? <laughs> look at the truly bros here. <laughs> Anyway, there it is. I thought that was pretty cringe. Thank you for the gifted uh, from our... Oh, hey! Thank you to Bella Simmons, our other Saudi benefactor, actually. Thank you, Bella. And thank you to One Third Sam as well, another benefactor. You guys are welcome to come to my after party. Anytime. Mm-hmm. Actually, only the 50 gifted, not the 5 gifted, sorry, but uh, yeah. just not enough to justify uh, spending any time with you. Thank you. Thank you for the gifted. 
so that's that. Pretty fun. Pretty good. Pretty juicy. Pretty good. Yada yada. yada. All right, I guess. Oh, there were some great amaranth moments too. Um. He kissed the amaranth pro. She's the best. She's so wild, man. These photos she took with fans are something else. Here, check this out. Here's Amaranth at TwitchCon. Fuck's going on at TwitchCon? <laughs> check this shit out, man. So how does this work? People are paying to take a photo with their AB? Yeah, so there was like this VIP meet and greet um, you could pay for, and then you can meet any streamer you wanted from like the partners. I believe this is how it goes, and then you just pick which line you want to stand in. But like there was one big line, and then it would disperse into like five different ones, and like Hassan had a booth, and then a bunch of other streamers. So this this man gets step, on all step, fours. Step, 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 oh, ass step. really out there, eh? Oh. Height, <laughs> fucking pants. Wow, he's gonna jerk off to that photo for years to come, isn't it? Love him for getting down on all fours, though, for her. <laughs> Actually, he wasn't the only guy to snap a picture like that. There was two of them. Um, this one was even, in my my opinion, even better. I love how he's... Oh, shit, what the fuck? I like how he th methodically takes everything off. He sits down, his homies there ready for the photo. Yes. <laughs> King. <laughs> even look at her once did i love <laughs> <laughs> he took it off didn't even make eye contact got on the floor put it on his stuff right <laughs> <laughs> i love that she's unbothered by this shit she's just it's like awesome. well, this is what it is stomp on me daddy there it is shout out amaranth girl bossing it through twitchcon um hassan had a booth there Let's take a look at Hassan's. Um, is this... How come it's em, half empty? So this is... There's a, behind that black curtain, there's a huge line. This is the end of the line where you pick which streamers you want to meet. These are like the five different booths or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but this wasn't his stand. He had like a merch stand um, that was really cool. Wait, is that him all the way up there? Yeah. Oh, here he is. The next picture. I, I got it close up. But it was funny because... People will recognize me outside of his line, and then like I had a, a mini like six people taking pictures with me. And Should it, have set up a booth next to his ass. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's like you're going to like Comic Con to get picture with Vader, and you had to settle for a stormtrooper. Right. Mm -hmm. Shout out Hassan, very popular there at TwitchCon. Oh yeah. He's a popular Twitch streamer. Our our, uh, our very own Hassan Piker. How about that? In it. In it. You're like obsessed with saying that lately. Well, I am English. In it is the new A. Eh? <laughs> yeah, you, you used to be Canadian. To England. <laughs> yeah, you're working your way through the Commonwealth. Um, you actually ran into rice gum. I thought that was interesting. Here it is. We literally just got out of the car. So that's rice gum and phase rug. Yeah. Go cheese. What up, rice gum? What's up, dude? So. <laughs> so what happened here? It was just all too happening too fast. I just walked by and I was like, is that rice gum? And I was like, I can't just let that be what I say. And so I turned back around and I was like, hey, what's up, man? Big fan. And I shook his hand. Big fan. And then I shook <laughs> Faze Rug's hand and Faze Rug was like super sweet. And I was like, all right, that's all, that, that's all I got. All Rug right. is nice. Yeah. He seems very nice. And then I said, oh, and then I told him I work for H3. And then Rice, like, Rug was like, oh, that's cool. But Rice looked like... Gave me like the look at that. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, uh, I definitely have a storied history with Ricey Boy over there. <gasps> also, interestingly, called my wife ugly. That's right. Uh -huh. He's kind of the OG. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's kind of maybe set that precedent. Yeah. He role model. At least he was original in a sense mm -hmm. then. Well, not really. Keemstar <laughs> kind of started the. Model to Monica over here. <laughs> and, he had, and he had a diss track where he said, You're lame and you've gained weight. So yeah, he's wow, he's a trendsetter. The, yeah, he's trendsetter. Shout out. That was the only time I've ever made a diss track, so I came hard for my boy Rice. He went back, shook his hand. 
Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh, he didn't look happy at all, Ricey. Ricerone? Yeah. The San Francisco tree? <laughs> Rug looks sweet. Look at him. Yeah, Rice is a nice guy. He's having a good time. He's, yeah, he's throwing nice. you a peek. I'm just happy to be here. Rice, uh, Rug is a nice guy. I spent the next day with iDubs for a lot of the day, and I was like, man, I wish I could have ran into Rice with Ian on stream. Oh, that, that would have been a whole different epic. level. Yeah. That is an interesting thing about TwitchCon, seeing people run into each other that would never really get along, eh? Yeah. In it. But after sh and after it, after shaking his hand though, me and Rice are boys. I'm I'm a fan of both of them. Yeah, yeah the show. Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fan. Okay, hell yeah. Something See about meeting these YouTubers in person, like Austin McBroom, you just dab him up and it's all, all good, baby. All sins are forgiven. But to be honest with you, I mean, he was cordial. <laughs> he wasn't like a dick or anything. You know, he said hi and peace, and you know, he, he mm -hmm. did the whole thing. So. <laughs> Is that really him? That one. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that one I know is him. No, those are both unedited. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. That's him, bro. Oh. <laughs> this one's the best. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Wait, play the one where it like changes tone. It goes ha ha. ha mm -hmm. Again? <laughs> oh my god. We love you, Rice Aroni. The San Francisco treat. Yeah. Yes, sir. Before we move on, I just want to show Hassan's booth. I sent it in uh, Discord. Hassan's booth? Yeah, his merch booth and uh, photo booth. That's, That's pretty, pretty cool, cool design. Yeah, it was sick. I wonder Cracker. who paid for all that. That's sick. I'm going to ask him on tomorrow. Him tomorrow. See what the newspaper says? Hassan it's Biker. A Twitch steals 30% of revenue from content creators. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it 50 now? It depends. Oh, it's like at a certain threshold. Yeah, I'm 50. I don't know how it works, though. I think it works like the more you get, the more they, they take, take right, which right, is right, kind right, of right. super yeah. unintuitive. Yeah. <sighs> Pretty much just said you guys are making too much. Totally. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, this is super cool, though. Um, shout out Hassan. Friend of the show. More than friend of the show. The brother of the show, brother in arms of the show, isn't it? Hey, isn't it? Hey, pull out, pull out. Oh, another fun story. Logan Paul invested heavily in NFTs, as you guys know. By the way, how is the NFT market doing? Or is it in shambles? Because I know the stock market yeah. is bad. Bitcoin's at bad. nineteen. I mean, it hasn't. I mean, it had that huge crash uh, probably four or five months ago, and it, it sort of stabilized. It hasn't really been moving up or down for the last several months. I mean, the stock market seems to be moving down more where Bitcoin seems to be more stable, but they crashed way deeper. Yeah. Because, I mean, they lost like 70% of its value. That's crazy, dude. So I'm kind of at a uh, <clears throat> loss for words right now. Ethereum. Let's see what's ETH at. 1300 yeah. Shit. Wait, 13? Whoa. When we first did our NFTs, what was it at? Like 1800 Yeah, around there, I believe, right? No, oh. it was right around... It was like 14 Or 12 oh, It's so weird. Yeah, it, it was mm. It was around where it yeah. is right now, yeah. Yeah, it had spiked up to like almost 4000 or something, but... Dude, it maxed back out at like... Was. Yeah, almost 5000 Well, anyway, the crypto market... Is in shambles. The NFT market's even worse off. Logan Paul bought this uh, rare Bumblebee NFT for six hundred. It's rare. Twenty three thousand dollars. <laughs> it's not that rare. I downloaded it ten times. It's really rare. So broken though. I put it on like t I downloaded. It, I have it on like a hundred different USB drives. No, no. Those well, are the only hundred copies. Then that's it. Yeah, no, it's super rare. Here it is. Uh, at the moment, though, wow. it's valued at ten dollars. So, oh, that's a steal. <laughs> that well, that's a steal. That 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 picture is worth a million bucks. That's like right sixty-two thousand percent drop off. I it, it's gone up a little bit just because of the hype around it being so cheap. <laughs> the story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, shout out to Logan. There, he really 
made a great investment. Uh, although Dink Doink probably made up for it in the end. Dink Doink. But man. Whoever owns that is probably very happy about this news coming out. This is, he's getting offers for two Ethereum now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. He's, which if he sold it, if that's 500% above floor difference. Yeah. <laughs> What's the floor? <laughs> <laughs> 10 bucks. Oh my God. Why are you on the floor? The, I cannot Why are you on the floor? realize what a disaster. There's shit all over the floor. <laughs> this NFT market is. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I don't think we have it written up in here, but news just yesterday came out that the uh, Board Ape Nazi Club dudes are uh, being investigated for securities fraud by Love the SEC. So. Shout out. Good. Shout out to Yuga Labs. Good guys. Yep. Yuga Labs, who, by the way, remember when we made that episode about them and then, like, all these fucking dudes came out the woodwork mm -hmm. trying to contact me? Yeah, they didn't, they didn't like that. That was kind of weird thinking back. Mm -hmm. All these Hollywood bigwigs and, like, shadowy figures being like, yo, let's get on a phone call. <laughs> I mean, it was weird at the time. That's super interesting. Yep. Well, yeah, you know, you can't win them all, but there it is. Who would have thought that this P <laughs> JPEG wasn't worth $623,000? Who would have, who could have guessed that? <laughs> I don't know. Dude, it looks so sick. There's like kind of vaguely, uh, you know, it almost looks like some sort of Asian symbol behind it. That's super cool, right. like high tech. Like, you know, like yeah. Chinese or Japanese, that's, that's high tech as shit. I don't really it's, give a fuck. But it's insanely good. Yeah. And, like, you couldn't create this in any medium other than right. digital, which is why it's so valuable. Oh, yeah, bro. Hold on one sec. <laughs> hold on one sec. Save his image. Oh, Ethan, you're you're committing a crime right now. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Live on air. Hold on, shit. Get the fucking FBI. Hold on. Okay. No! I just saved it twice. No! Three times. Dude, bitch. that's three counts! Stop me, They're here! They're here! Stop me, bitch. I just I just made three million dollars. Fuck! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> yeah, so my heart goes out to uh, Logan Paul there for that uh, huge loss of money. Yep. Damn, tragic. Tragic. Um, Logan Paul also required, acquired, and this one's even better, rock number 65, guys. Take a look at this one. Yes, rock number 65 and 68 were acquired for, <laughs> he bought this for $60,000? Mm -hmm. And he brought rock uh, 68 for $95,000. <laughs> okay, yeah. Good. Now let's just let's just appreciate if we can please the artistry that went into this. Right. Okay. Are you really trying to tell me this is not a ninety thousand dollar JPEG? I would never Ethan! <laughs> I'm downloading it. Fuck your rock! No! Man. I'm it. It's my rock now. <laughs> it's my rock, baby. <laughs> Oh no, this point one ETH offer has expired. <laughs> they didn't accept it? Oh, they must have been <laughs> they must have been busy. We got Shit. It. Yeah, so unfortunately for Logan Paul, um who's about one hundred and fifty thousand in on these rocks. <laughs> uh rock number twenty uh, sixty five is being offered only twenty five dollars on OpenSea. Damn. I would have never guessed that, man. I would have never seen this coming at all. Yeah. Like, I would have never guessed that, man. A year ago, who would have ever thought that the NFT market would crash? Hmm. Angry. Oh, it's so mad about it. Nobody saw this coming. <laughs> Arr, look at all these rocks, guys. Oh, this rock's price is 25. Nobody's buying it, though. Angry. They saying you can buy this for twenty for thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand dollars? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Sixty three. 
I mean, that that still sounds like a bargain compared to what from a hundred thousand. Yeah, why isn't Logan buying up this rock right now? Yeah, if he believes in the project. That's, a, that's a, are you seeing that too? That's a, that's a nice one. This rock is kind of a vibe. <laughs> I like that one, dude. <laughs> this rock is kind of a vibe, though. To be to be true, to be true, speak the truth there. Well, though, you know, it kind of looks. It's kind of funny. It kind of looks like it's uh, flipping you off a little bit. You know what I mean? Can we examine these rocks here? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's let's go geology these, mode. These are all different rocks. Yo, 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 yo. You see number thirty-three? Mm-hmm. You see that? That one yeah. goes kind of hard. <laughs> that, one, that rock. I like hard. how the body's a little hard, dude. Dude, that yeah. would look great on my wall. Yeah. This one here. Yeah, you mean your yeah, wall in your in your metaverse house, right? Exactly. Yeah, right, not yeah. my real house. Nothing yeah. practical. But. I wonder why sixteen is more valuable than ninety one. Are you it, kidding? Uh, are you blind? Clear as day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't know skills. anything about art, you fucking <laughs> idiot. Oh, I love it. Didn't it took even less time than I thought it would for for this shit to crash? Yeah. Like, literally nothing. <laughs> there hasn't been a sale for four months. <laughs> there hasn't been a rock sale for four months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because all the idiots who bought this shit are like, I'm not selling this for... I'm holding, bucks. baby! I'm holding <laughs> <bottle."> <laughs> Communities will do that, like crypto or NFT communities. They'll, like, they'll think if no one sells it, it's going to hold value. But <laughs> Right. <laughs> obviously, mm. obviously, it doesn't work. Yeah, like that. That doesn't, that's not quite <laughs> how it works. Wow. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Logan Paul. We're supposed to believe this guy's a genius entrepreneur, and he paid one hundred and fifty thousand dollars for two of these fucking rocks. I don't think any he doesn't boy. characterize himself as a as a genius entrepreneur, does he? He's not like Steve will do it. We're like, I'm a fucking role model on the shit. No, he's not that insane. Yeah, I think he's a little more humble than that. Well, he says his goal is to be the biggest entertainer in the world. So yeah, but he doesn't say he is. What's worse, Suicide Force or The Rock? Suicide Force. Okay. Yeah. Excuse. These rocks or They're Rock Dwayne right. Johnson? Oh, Dwayne. Dwayne? Oh, Dwayne. Oh. Oh. Mr. Rock. I thought a rock Mr. Rock. My answer. I mean, he does eat babies. Actually, so. well, well the, right. good, the good news for Logan is that um, at least he's going to be able to get that big tax break in, in Puerto Rico. So. Mm. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> the I'm offset. So excited. That's the, true. Uh, Puerto the rock loss Rico. there. Yeah. Huge rock loss. Um, I think we've been going for a minute. You know, we're about to get into Olivia's segment, Meme History. Put Lovato, but I guess we'll hold off on that for Friday. We'll save it for Ela. I think will like it. Put Lovato. I've seen the picture, but I didn't know it had a name. Oh, I love... I've purposely... Food. I've I've been very hands-off on this whole project. Olivia's been very <laughs> excited about it, and I have not spoiled it. I don't know anything you about Poot Lovato beyond a, the name. It's a surprise you can't show. Well, everyone knows the picture. It's just That's the true. lore behind the picture. I already looked at the whole thing. Oh, uh, okay. Well, did you like it? Yeah, no, it's great. Thank you. But this fucking photo cracks me the it's shit so up. Fun. I'm not looking. Yeah. I don't want to uh, look. It's so, <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah, Poot Lovato. There it is. When Olivia said, should I make a PowerPoint? And I was like, don't, don't ask me. Go ahead. Go ask the, the maestro <laughs> himself. It's a game of Russian roulette. Mm. By the way, this beautiful polo that I'm wearing. Yeah. Beanie, you guys may have noticed. Where'd you get it? Thinking, damn, he's dressed sharp today. I've been thinking that the whole time. Teddyfresh.com, of course. Teddyfresh.com. Huh. Never oh, heard of them. Sweater. What's going on on their website? Oh, my stomach's starting to feel fucked up from my Taco Bell. Because I, I haven't been able to eat, really. That was the first, like, meal I've had. Mm. Shit. I'm glad I didn't have three tacos and two burritos. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It's all happening. At steak.com. What are we checking out? I mean, teddyfresh.com. <laughs> You're gonna get banned. I like how he's like, everybody's got a betting partner. Everybody who's anybody. Uh, Everybody got choices. <laughs> yup. And guys, yeah. remember, if you are a member, there's members only podcasts up every Tuesday. <laughs> See you next Tuesday.
And congratulations. The SYNT podcast. Your favorite podcast. And congratulations to everyone who got gifted a sub. That's so cool. I love that. 150 of them between our two Saudi benefactors. Love them, man. I see comments. Maybe they both shouldn't be Saudi. Maybe uh, one's from Qatar or something. Mm, Qatari. Yeah. I see a lot of people comment <laughs> that they didn't know they're a member. They didn't know they were gifted a sub sometimes. So oh, yeah. If you're on uh, desktop, check it out. See if you're a member. Go to the member tab. It, I guess the way it gifts it is based on activity. So if you are a frequent watcher of this show, you're more likely to get the gifted. So, uh, yeah, if you're watching the show all the time, check your dashboard. That's you cool. Might, you might be a subscriber. Give. 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 Get. 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 Wait, do we have the ninja, the new ninja clip? I've been playing them all day. I know you've been playing them all day, but the audience doesn't know what they're from. Oh, you're talking the real clip. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of out of context. Maybe it's it is better fun. out of context. Let's yeah. just leave it that way. Oh! oh, we got another 50 gifted from Bella Simmons. Who are you, Bella? Love that for you. Thank you, Erica. Uh, she said it's her birthday and she got Teddy Fresh. Best gift ever. Thank you, Erica. Legend. What a legend, Erica. Um, thank you, thank you so much. Do you want to show those ninja ones? I'd like to watch those before we go. Uh, I don't even know. I probably should have had know. them ready before I suggested that. That would have been so smart. You can pull it up. No problem. The goo one's on his Twitter. It's like the first video. Goo. <laughs> Did I hear the sound? Uh, oh, here you go. Of course. Ian had it. Oh, Ian had it. Ian, the, the ninja simp in the <laughs> office. Goo. You want me to open it? I got it. Here's ninja dropping the goo. Oh, he tweeted this out. Yeah. Interesting. I find that really interesting. I can't control my goo. Why do you tweet this? Oh, 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 I shot my, oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my, I can't control my goo. That's funny that he tweeted this. It didn't ever even get that. He... Ever since he left like Twitch or when he went like on all platforms, he's been a little bit more shaky, dude. Yeah. He doesn't really care yeah, 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 as much. He's feeling himself. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It only has 3,000 likes. We're the only one that liked this clip, but we're taking it. I can't control my goo. <laughs> oh, we're taking I'm gonna it. I'm going to like it on the podcast. Goo. I'm going to like it. In fact, oh, by the I'm going to like it and I'm going to retweet it. One hour ago, Alex Jones must pay a, a billion dollars. <laughs> In Sandy Hook defamation <laughs> trial. <laughs> Holy fuck. So, That's fucking awesome, bro. Jury decides he must pay $965 million. Now, is there a limit in Connecticut for punitive damages? Like in Texas, it's limited. Oh, I, I think there was. I remember I yeah. looked into all of this when we talked about... <laughs> The first trial. This is, um, uh, I can't remember. Now, I know it's heinous what he did, but a billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm on their side. Don't get me wrong. But, like, what do you mean a billion dollars? Well, I mean, I think everybody understands that that would never be paid. But I think the idea <laughs> is pretty obviously to bankrupt him and to get him off the air. You know? Oh, that's so funny. A billion fucking dollars. Like, how do, I'd like to see the math on that. Yeah, I'll... Um, we should talk about it on Leftovers tomorrow. Um, yes, I'd love I, to I can do it. like a whole breakdown. It's on, breaking news, so. Yeah. Hassan, if you're watching, please don't discuss it today. Yeah. Uh, wait till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably been talking about it for the last two it's hours. It's not very girthy. So wait, what's the punitive damage max in Connecticut? If you can fish that up. I just want to know how fucked is he. Yeah, in Texas, it's like... Very, 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 very low. Unit of damages uh, not to exceed fifty thousand dollars. What? It yeah, went right, from I, one billion to fifty thousand. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's probably not all punitive damages. That's like a very specific part of what you get awarded. I'll, uh, let me let me do some actual research on it, not on the fly, and we can we can break it all down tomorrow. Why stop at a billion? Let's just keep it going, man. 
Ten billion. That's what she said. Here, I couldn't be more proud to stand here and with all of these people, and I really miss my wife and daughters right now. They can't be here with me, but our lawyers. Are you br you bringing down the vibe, dude? I was going to say, this is like <laughs> Steve will do it mentioning Elon the last minute. Like, we were so yeah, close. You, 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 you're bringing it down. I'm, I'm on your side, by the way. It's fucked up. It's good. He got that dub in court. That's what he wanted. Let's get a billion dollars out to hit this man pronto. <laughs> Fuck. He's such a piece of shit, though. And now that he's losing, he's just gone on this whole, like, Fuck it, I, ki I killed him. Fuck it, I don't apologize. I killed I saw, those kids. I saw some clips of him on uh, Channel 5 saying, like, yeah, I'm the Night Stalker. I did this, I did that. Yeah, I watched that. And a ding dong. As a suck and a ding dong. Suck and a ding dong. Uh, thank you for the one gifted. Veral, ver, ver one. Uh, and Derek Runtz donated 20. 20 gifted. Oh, thank you, Derek. Can I make a quick announcement? Real quick. Troubadour? There are only 50 tickets left. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, low ticket warning. There's only 50 tickets left to the Troubadour. Troubadour! There's only 50 tickets left! January... 13th. 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 Let's go! That's during our break. Interesting. Wait, the 13th? Please don't do this. Please. <laughs> Please don't. Cause Wait, he was what? Is, me shit is it on it. a Friday? No. Cam, no, there Cam, was a whole... Cam put the, accidentally put the wrong date on the uh, meme he made. So now the, all the comments are just fucking the data. Well, you're doing it to yourself now. <laughs> well, don't, don't go do buy don't the ticket, it. and the ticket will say the right day. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. January 13th. But I'm I'm available on the 16th. I don't know if I'm available on the 13th. Uh, I'll be there on the 16th. <laughs> 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 you sold the tickets. It doesn't matter if they come or not, right? That's true. It's Friday yeah. the 13th. He's a, he's a showman, though. He wants yeah. the audience to show up. Yeah, that's, the that's how you can remember. It's Friday the 13th. Exactly. January, Friday the 13th. The most sustainable. The most, wait, uh, wait, wait, 13 wait, 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 plus wait. 3 is how much? That would be 16. Oh, it's on the 6th. 13. Oh, January 6th. Friday, fries, three letters. Add that to 13. Right. And 13 plus 3 is? That would be 16. Troubadour, January 16th. Right. Zach Troubadour, 16th of January. 13th. Zach, of 2020. Wait, the super superstitious guy is having a concert on Friday the 13th. That's, that's what, what I was about to wait, ask. I was yeah. about to point that out, too. Is it really on Friday the 13th? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm not going to that shit. Dude, that's cursed, Maybe Zach. you should move it to the 16th, dude. I deep, mm. I just so we should shuffle some things around. Maybe the 16th yeah, is a better day. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. Is that a Clyden's Kleinwater? <laughs> I don't. What are you singing? <laughs> what are you singing? Wait. Keep going. I want to know. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is. Did yeah. you okay. ever poop on the grass? I have. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know if you ever. Just want to point. So I saw Joker this. I saw this on the, the Reddit on uh, like <laughs> when Hassan started singing that, and I told him about the curse of all this fucked up shit that happened at TwitchCon. And now he has whiplash. Mm. Yeah, so nothing oh. happened. At, so, so you're blaming oh. all bad things that happened at TwitchCon. Well, he, he his song was fine. He specifically got whiplash from. from okay, so, so so is that one girl breaking her back because of the climate? No, water? no. Why limit it just to TwitchCon? I mean, lots of terrible things have happened in, in the, the world. world. That bridge got just blown up. Saying, and it's all yeah. there was the some cruise missiles. Fifty hitting tickets left January thirteenth. Live at the Troubadour. See Zach at the Mint January 46th. Yeah. So if we banned Clyden's Kleinwater worldwide, globally, would we st would war and famine and all that stop? Would it be peace on Earth? I hope so. One can hope. I can't Thank make you for the that. Thank you I can't make that, you know. If we were to ban CCR. Right. Tomorrow. There we yeah. Okay, there we go. There yeah. we are. Except people are still walking around with sleeveless uh, shirts. Uh, where's the utopia now? <laughs> the one guy there has He's got a sleeve. He's free to do that. That He's guy free fucked, to do that. Dude. He fucked. That dog's going to shit on the door? floor. He's not going to pick it up. It's a robot dog. And it's a robot shit. dog. It doesn't shit. In, now, in it, a utopia, there are no dogs. Would it be weird Just if robot you jerks off a robot dog? Is that weird? No. Is that wrong? Hmm. That's an interesting philosophical question. Is it bestiality I to ro jerk know. off a robot dog? Would you ever jerk off your dog? I want to know. 
Would you ever scoop out the cup? All right. Of your dogs. Three hours, Penis. 13 minutes. January 13th. That's probably enough. 50 tickets left. That's probably I enough. I want to fart and have my dog. All right. Of. All right. Cool. Okay. Yep. Yes. This is like kind of crazy I'm saying this, but <laughs> one, for example, when I jerk off Donnie, I'm the cool dad now. Should be our outro Donnie song today. Favorite. Let's, let's wrap example, it up. Let's watch one more. Uh, Ethan. You can Hold on. Let's close with this. Oh, my back is killing me. I got to get out of this chair. With this. this is like kind of crazy I'm saying this. All right. We, bye, guys. See you on uh, one, tomorrow morning. For example, when I jerk we'll off Donnie, on this. I'm the cool dad now. Go I'm the favorite. For example, when I jerk off Donnie, two... You can control where the cum goes. When I jerk off Donnie, so you just go, you put on the glove. When I jerk off Donnie, or like you go cow style. J R H N B R. When I jerk off Donnie, when I jerk off Donnie, like I like cartoons, like Disney, like family friendly and shit. Uh, and you just, I've been, uh, I've been just like jerking off Donnie. Jerking your dog off. Jerking your dog off. Jerking your dog off. I'm the cool dad now. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So, I'm the cool dad now. Thing is, like, dude, I'm the cool dad. Cause imagine if you couldn't jerk off, Donnie, 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 Donnie. That's fucking. That's dope of you, bro. I gotta control where the cum goes. J R H N B R. Donnie, 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 Donnie. I'm the cool dad, dude. That's fucking... That's dope of you, bro. When I jerk off Donnie, when I jerk off Donnie, when I jerk off Donnie,